your neck. Hello, Tyson. Jeez, that's loud. That's a little loud for me. Should we turn but it yeah, down? Just, down, just, down, down, just, down a just a little smidge. I'll hey, everyone. What's going on? Oh, there we go. Cheers. Welcome to Nick Tyson Video Safe. It's episode number seventy-four. Seventy-four. We're very excited to be back. We've had a little bit of a uh, hey, a little bit of a hiatus while we were um, experiencing technical difficulties. We were um, technical difficulties. Oh, fuck, I struggled technical, saying that. Then. Technical difficulties. That, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a hard one to say. Yeah, that we are not even one hundred percent sure we've fixed, but we've found Look, a solution. If we sound weird, it's because of these technical difficulties. But hey, we're here. Um, and we're delivering a movie which is hilariously. I've uh, while we're doing while we've been doing this podcast, I've found out that Tyson and my tastes are very similar. Yeah, we have very similar tastes. So especially those those random, random movies yeah. <laughs> that are essentially forgotten. Mm, no one knows this that yeah we've watched a bazillion times. And it, you know what it is? It's because we it's because of video, video store working. Yeah, like it's exactly. just we found a lot of these movies these gems, at the same time. Yeah. I think. Uh, and the movie we're doing today, I didn't even check what year it's from, 98? Rounders. Uh, 98, yeah. Yeah, we're doing yeah. Rounders from 1998. Yeah. Uh, kind of at the at the peak of the Miramax kind of uh, classy drama, I guess. Classy like, drama? Yeah. Uh, yeah, classy drama or more of... But it, it, had, it, was the, had, it was the 90s that was going into the sort of the... Gri- it was touching on the gritty dramas. Yeah. Because there's a little bit of grit in this, it, sure. but it's very PG grit. Yeah. yeah, and it's, you know, it's obviously, it's the... It, it, it was the... Really cashing in on the the celebrity of this new this new star Matt, Matt Damon. Damon, yeah. And where was Edward Norton at this point? He had done he'd done Primal Fear because I think that was yeah, ninety six. Because that was his so. first film. He'd done I think he'd done uh, People vs Larry Flint, and then there was this, and then there was American History X. Cause American History X was ninety nine, I think. Oh, so so yeah, yeah, so that makes sense. God, what a, like He's, I feel like they're two separate people. I, who? I, the Edward Matt. Norton that played the the lead role in American okay, History X is not the same Edward Norton in this movie. No, no. Um, they're two different people. That's why I love him. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be talking about Rounders. Rounders. So we're very glad to have everyone uh, tuning in this week. Thanks, if you, uh, thanks for joining us again after yeah. a little bit of a week off. Um, yeah. If you do want to track us down, Nicholas, where do people find our show? You can show? find us in all different places where you find podcasts, which is uh, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, iTunes, of course, which is the big one. I look at Casts because I like the the app itself. It's just Casts. Nice. Um, Tice, what do you look it up? I use what, Overcast. Used Overcast. Yeah. yeah um, uh, for my podcasting, I like it. I like it's. Uh, it's interface. You like it's it, interface. It's, it's yeah. the cleanest one I've found, and it's the yeah. one that works best for I me. I like Cast because if I stop listening halfway through, there's a section in my settings where I can go. Oh, you can pick it up where it's from. So I can. I've listened to six podcasts, and I can pick it up where. That is definitely you know, what my one does as well. Because yeah, exactly. I could not function any other no, way. There's I, no yeah. way. <laughs> um, I listen to like iTunes twenty minutes of something and then switch it around exactly. and then do something else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, so yeah, we're on all them. iTunes is the big one for us though, because uh, that's where you can rate, star, review, and uh. uh Write a review for us because yeah. it, it helps us uh, plentiful. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, we are on all the socials as well. So if you want to see what else we're up to, uh, and maybe sometimes what we're doing next week, but we'll add that for later in the in the show. Exactly. Right. But um, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we are on Instagram, and we're on YouTube, which is not a social media network, but it's a um, it's I a place that we are on. I was about to say people are aware of the concept of YouTube. <laughs> I don't. Think it's like YouTube. It's YouTube. This, it's a new it's thing. This video kind of watching website. It's really interesting, especially if you are a fan of cats. Cats, you'll yeah. find yourself yeah. uh, quite and, busy. And uh, fail, sort of like a fail compilation. Australia, Australia's videos? funniest home video show. Yeah, there's in, this in thing YouTube called form. fail videos, guys, <laughs> where um, people get hit in the balls a lot. Exactly. Um, or fall off uh, stands when there's crunching grapes. And, oh, that still gets me. throwback. Classic throw. It's the noise she makes after it she is. lands. When she lands, the, ow, 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 ow. it's very. Um, I want the camera to pan to see I what know, she's doing because I need to see I, it. It's yeah. one of those ones I feel awful laughing oh, yeah. at, but that is you it is very funny. It. You can't help it. Um, well, why don't we start the show as we always start it, Nicholas? With uh, with some trailers. Yes. Yeah. Everybody's talking trailers. Um, right. Well, because we've had two weeks off, we, we have a pick of a litter here. Yeah, the There's pick not, of the litter. Not a lot of litter, but it's a small little basket. It's a small, oh, sh- it's a smallish litter. A smallish litter. And there are picks of it. Yes. Um, and we're going to pick two. Yeah. Well, th- there were a couple others that I thought would have been interesting to talk mm. about. You did mention the, the favourite, which looks favorite really looks, fucked up. Yeah, um, man. It looks so uh, I'll attempt to say his name. It's Yorgos Lathinimus. Well done. Um, I'm not going to attempt that. 
something like that, the director of Killing of a Sacred Deer and The Lobster, who's yeah. obviously just carving a niche for himself as a really interesting and I can't filmmaker. Wait again. I really can't um, wait. There was I also I, I, I quite enjoyed the trailer for the uh, the Van Gogh movie with uh, Eternity's Gate. Eternity's yes, Gate with, um, I like that as Defoe. well. Um, that looks really Julian interesting. Schnabel, yep. uh, the director of Diving Bell and the Butterfly. That's the one. Um, and that looks that looks out of control. Um, that looks like a lot of fun. It, it looks like a it, lot of fun. That's it, not, not, the, not a lot of fun. <laughs> it looks it looks like it's it's a front runner maybe for some awards. Well, shows, that's probably. the. I, I mean, we don't need to talk about it too much, but I think uh, is his name is it Schna, Schnabel? Let's have a look. Schnabel. I feel bad. Um, I would say Schnabel. Schnabel. Um, Julian. Julian Schnabel. He's he has the the, he the kind of the the distinction of being one of those rare directors that gets a best director nomination while the pitcher does not receive a best pitcher nomination. Oh, right. Okay. Um, it doesn't happen very often. Right. Um, but yeah. he's he's one of the ones that has that oh, has that, that rare distinction. So he's obviously. Don't he, you think that should happen though? I I think it should happen more often. To be honest, I I think it's I. I get a little frustrated. Yeah. Not frustrated. I think it's sometimes just a little bit too convenient that, that, that all the yeah the best pitchers kind of just automatically garner themselves a best director nomination or a best actor um, or a best screenplay. Yeah. Whereas Come on. I think I think a movie can be the best directed movie and not be and not be best and picture. not be best picture. Absolutely. I think that's I th- I think that is possible. Um, in certain circumstances. Yeah. And it's not not to say that you know a movie that isn't doesn't end up becoming part of the best picture race isn't good enough to be there. Mm. It's just one of those things where it's like, hey, like, you know, it would probably have been, I'm sure it was everybody's sixth choice, you know what I mean, that year. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, so that looked really that looked really crazy as well. Mm. Um, I'm going to stick with it. It looks like a lot of fun because fun for me is messed up and fucked. And that looks yeah. like it's going to leave a it's going to leave a scar, and yeah. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I think it'll be I quite like an interesting view. I like movies that that make you feel stuff like you, oh, of you at the end of Dunkirk, basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the ones we are going to talk about, yeah. let's talk about first the let's uh, do first man, first man, first man. I see the moon. The moon sees me. The vehicle's not safe. We need to fail. We need to fail down here so we don't fail up there. Please let the light that shines on me. Neil, everyone's in agreement. We'd like you to command. Shine on the one that I love. Mom, what's wrong? Nothing, honey. Your dad's going to the moon. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin. We have a goal for main engine start. T minus 10. The entire world's watching. Nine. Do you question whether the program's worth the cost? Seven. In money and in lives? Six. Five. What are the chances you're not coming back? Four. Those kids, they don't have a father anymore. Three. So you're going to sit the boys down? Two. And you're going to prepare them for the fact you might not ever come home. One. Do you think you're coming back? So this is the second trailer. We uh, we mentioned briefly the first trailer. We did. Um, which we did it looks good. Oh, I, I was kind of on board straight away. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to swing that around and, and play it while we're, while we're chatting? And we can just... Um, so we're talking trailer two here. This is the second trailer, which yeah came out this week. And it gives us a much better indication of what kind of film we're, we're, we're dealing with. We're looking at, yeah. Um, I, it, it, it's funny, it doesn't really look like a Damien Chazelle film. No, um, which I'm fine with. But then again, Whiplash didn't look like LA, uh, uh, La La Land either. Oh, but I that's th- because I think it was... There were there were elements to it that I were familiar, I oh, think. Really? Um, this looks like, a, yeah, he's really taken a step in a different direction. Mm. Um, it could just be the period setting... Perhaps and that it could be the budget. Um, it's getting and maybe, yeah, him. maybe it's actually he's working with a, a much larger budget. Mm. Um, he is it's a, funny that there aren't a lot of movies now. about this. There are. There aren't. There aren't. No, yeah. this is the first that I believe. There's always the other. It's always the 
Because this, they succeeded. And yes, it was hard on him, but he came back and he's a hero, like sort of thing. So it's a hero story. People m- more tend towards the the underdog, which is Apollo 13, where they, you know, it was a mess up and they got home and things like that. Sure. Or Event Horizon, where... <laughs> <laughs> where they discovered a portal to hell. <laughs> And everybody uh, and everyone died, died yeah. in hideous, gruesome ways. Yeah. Uh, true story. Look it up. Yeah. Um, so, but yes, there are no. This is the yeah, first. Which is I, this I, the I, first? I, I, can't, I couldn't movie? say whether yeah. or not. I'm, I, I don't know. If only there was a device that you could know, ask right? a question by typing it in, and you'd receive an air. Oh wait, I have oh, wait, one right here. It's a phone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I would. But this, uh, the one thing I will say a bit about this, Tice, is I feel like I've watched the movie already with this trailer. And this is, and this is, uh, I understand we're watching a trailer too, and this is why I don't watch trailer twos. I'm going to watch this because my wife will make me because of Ryan Gosling. But other than that, I'm watching it because of Damien Giselle. You say Giselle? I say Giselle, yeah. yeah. Um, but Tice, I saw everything in this trailer. I even saw. Like you see him working up to it, you see the just the worry in his face throughout the whole thing, and then his wife saying, "Well, if you're going to go, uh, there's your sons are going to be without a father. You need to sit down with them now." Normally, a trailer wouldn't show me the sit down, but it showed me the sit down. It showed me the son talking about, "Are we going to see you again?" And we saw the reaction to his face. If I'm seeing all of that in a trailer, come on, man. We uh, we do get a lot of the beats. Uh, look, I mean. I think it's. I think the trailer does a good enough job that, mm. uh, yes, look, we do see some of those beats, and that it's probably unnecessary. But I'm not in a position where uh, they they are in the the the, the mm. interesting position that it is a, it is a story that it, it is not going to be a surprise to anybody. Mm. So there are no spoilers, Titanic. basically. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, exactly. The boat yeah. sinks. They they make it to the moon and they make it back. Yeah. So I think by highlighting the fact that it's going to be. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the actual moon landing part of this film yep. is very minimal. S- minimal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I think I think we're it's dealing about entirely about yeah the process of getting there, mm. the 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 real kind of things, real tough obstacles that they had to overcome in mm. order to get there. Once it's there, I wouldn't be surprised if. Cut, that, to, cut to credits. That, well, last, that shot? last shot in the trailer could be the last shot in the film. Yeah, um, and I'd be happy with that. I love that because it, you know that. You the know sense the of a, you can tell that it's going to be a movie about accomplishment. They're going mm. it's going to be about um, you know the the lengths that these men are going to in order to get where they need to to where they want to get to. Yeah, yeah. And finally, being able to accomplishment is accomplish it is the goal of the film. Mm. Yeah. Um, I'm really on board for this. I think. I think I'm going to like it a lot. It's being reviewed really well, uh-huh. really strong reviews yeah. so far. Um, there is some kind of bullshit floating around at the moment because apparently um, it's and it's causing controversy. And I oh, use the in in air quotes. <laughs> quotes um, ears, as you yeah, because uh, they don't feature the American flag on the moon. Oh. So they don't apparently they don't show him planting the flag, <laughs> and in this very strange political landscape that we live in at the moment, <laughs> apparently that is enough to be a controversy. Oh, fuck. Um, to be honest, I don't think you want the American flag shown right now with where you guys are I, sitting. Well, that's, I think that is that is the controversy. <laughs> is that yeah yeah um, yeah fair deal. Hey, go back. The f- yeah, the fact that the movie does not depict one of the most familiar images from the lunar voyage, the planting of the American flag on the moon's surface. Um, and certain people like Buzz Aldrin has uh, decided that he is uh, pretty uh, objecting to that oh, Buzz, admission. Buzz, dude, sit in your second seat and just sit there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're the first loser. Second place, Buzz. No one ruined. <laughs> I didn't know Stephen was a part of this thing. Uh, executive producer, yeah. Well, he he executive produces. He's so got much his stuff. thumb in all the pies. What a champ! Yeah, and so he should. Um, yes, but I'm I'm very much on board for this. I've obviously, um, you know, I've I'm a big fan of Damien Chazelle. Yeah, I, I think You've I think he before. does he does yeah. really great work. Whiplash mm. was one of one of my, probably my favorite film of the year that it came out. At least yep. not in the top yeah. two or three. It was, it was decent. Um, it was good. And so it was I, so you know, good. I'm I'm always going to be interested in a new film by. Him. That he he makes um, fair deal. I am I am of the same caliber, but um, I'm not going to rush out to see this thing. I will see it, 
Um, but uh, I like the idea yeah. of it being a bit kind of like old school nineties kind yeah. of Hollywood. It's it's like, Apollo thirteen, baby, yeah, and you're you go, all about that. And how good was Apollo thirteen? That's yeah, why. I mean, that's it's one of the all time exactly. great. Like it's one of the most easy films to watch. It is. Like what you was sit the, down um, and it's just you, you're stuck in it. What was the movie about the um, African American women who helped the space launch? Uh, that hidden was the other figures? Day. Hidden figures. Yeah. Was that about this launch? I have not seen it, so I. Oh, can't. you have not seen yeah, it. Well, I, I have, and I forget. In, okay, good. <laughs> there we go. Because I don't care about American flag. I care about if you if so those movies both coming out so close. There's got to allude to them at least if that if that is this mission. If it's not, hey, Nick's wrong, and uh, you know, uh, hidden take it figures, easy. hidden figures. Uh, which was a good no, movie. No, this was the one. This was about the uh, launching John Glenn into ah. space, which I believe is the Apollo. Uh, no, it's the it's the subject of the right stuff. You know, the movie the right oh, stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think oh, that's okay. about John Glenn. Um, I want to watch that again. Right stuff, man. I've never seen the right stuff. Seen. I have it on DVD. I bought a special edition DVD, like a two disc set. Years ago, Dude. never watched it. Okay, take it easy. Just sat on the shelf, and I will get around to it. He'll get around to it. I will because I've heard nothing but great things about it. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm on board. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Well, there's a, a one thumb up for me. I'll definitely watch it. Right, excellent. Is a, excellent. Uh, should we move on? Move on. The next one we want to talk about is the front front runner. That's <laughs> with a question mark. That's the name of it, isn't it? Uh, yes, the front runner. Good play trap. The youngest candidate. Hard spoke at four campaign trail. The clear front runner. So start with the uh, shoulder in a little. My name's Gary Harden. I'm running for president. I want you to think about the opportunity that we have right here, right now. I've never known a guy more talented at untangling politics so that anyone can understand. It is a gift, and he wants to share that. And all anybody wants is for him to take a stupid photo. He will never understand that. Gary Hart is the man to beat in 88. If we hold ourselves to those highest standards, then the voters cannot do otherwise. Senator, I want to ask you some questions about the woman at your townhouse. Can you tell us how you know her? You can't be serious. No one is staying in my home. There's no need for that. Uh, I, I am serious, sir. <laughs> oh, Senator man, where are you going to run to? The one thing I asked was that you don't embarrass me. We can't hide from this. The cameras go everywhere. It's up to us to hold these guys accountable. Just because some other paper used gossip as front page news, I mean, that doesn't mean we have it to. It does. It does now. He is a man with power, and that takes certain responsibility. We need to say something. It's nobody's business. None of it is. Okay, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about how you get through today. This campaign is about the future, not rumors, not sleaze, and I care about the sanctity of this process. Um, now, this is how you make a trailer, Tyson. I love this trailer. Fuck, I think it's man. I think it's a really well put together trailer. I love the a lot of it. Choice. The music choice, the music choices are great. Um, the I had no idea this movie was coming, so no, did like, I. so yeah. it was a. I, I love when a movie kind of just shocks me a little bit with its trailer, and, yeah. and, and I'm suddenly on board. And you're all in. Um, you're all in. I'm for all this in. Thing. The cast is is great. Mm-hmm. I've I've just got such a fondness for Hugh Jackman. Um, yeah. Well, I like him in roles like this. Like I've I've I think I've seen enough of the Wolverine and enough of the blockbuster Hugh Jackman. I want him in roles like this. Him in this in Prisoners, Jesus Christ, you know things like that. Oh my God, he's an, he's intense. really an underrated. Dramatic actor. actor. Dramatic actor, mm. yeah. I, I think, look, I don't think he does accents very well. No, there's a... Um, he's, not, yeah. he's not fantastic. His American <laughs> accent isn't exactly um, flawless. Hey, that's okay. We can surpass it as long as the acting is good and yeah. the script is... No, I just is think he's such a... Role. Yeah, I, I really do think he's a strong actor. Mm. Um, and that's I don't think he gets a huge amount of credit. I mean, that's silly to say he's got, you know, okay, he's Academy Award nominations and stuff. But people kind of, I think, look over him a little bit. Yeah. Um, and JK man, JK Simmons, I'm, I'm who, JK. you know, and in, in the, what he, he uh, the campaign manager kind of role, which yeah. I think is a great fit for him. Yeah, man. Vera Farmiga as his wife. Yep. This is, I mean, this is a story, uh, obviously being in Australia, I don't have a, I, I, I'm very interested in American politics. I really yeah. enjoy it, but I don't know a lot of the history pre Not kind of the, 80s, of the no. late nineties yeah, is kind exactly. of where, where I kind of tuned in yep. and, um, What's where we got old enough to understand politics? Really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so you know, the same way. But having said that, I can't. I probably couldn't tell you who he's lost. Um, well, even in Australian politics, I yeah. couldn't tell you who he's 
if we had an equivalent mm. from you know the mid nineties, a an up and coming kind of politician who was uh, who lost. Due to a scandal, and, uh, well, or due yeah, to, or just due to lost. anything, yeah. I couldn't tell you any of the names of those people. Yeah. Um. So you know, there's, it's obviously a, there's a different culture surrounding uh, people's awareness of presidential mm. candidates. Um. So this is yeah, this is the story of a of the a, a democratic uh, front runner for the nomination. He wasn't mm. even he didn't even receive the nomination. Yeah. Um, clearly. <laughs> so. Uh, so never actually got to run for president, but he was believed to be the the, the, the shoe in. Like yeah, he yeah. he had it and um, got mixed up in a uh, scandal involving uh, womanizing, yep. basically. Yeah, um, and then uh, yeah, it all came crashing down. Yeah, and you can tell even by those shots there where he's getting the makeup applied, something's bothering him already. He's yes. already not okay. Yeah, sort of thing. And I look, I think it's a really interesting choice of film to release at the moment. I think mm. I think it's good. a good idea. I think we should be seeing more politically driven movies at the Absolutely. moment. Yes. Uh, just because, we, I mean, it's such a fucking, like, shitstorm at the moment. Like, you know, whatever your political beliefs are. Even with ours. Even oh, with yeah, ours. exactly. And we've just gone through all kinds of fucking horse shit here in Australia. Um, oh, fuck. You know, like, I, uh, you someone know? brought it up the other day. <laughs> yeah. I, I went through... I can't even remember, like most of the majority of my teenage years mm. with one prime minister. Yeah. And, and now, these kids have had like seven. Yeah. Um <laughs> and it's it's ridiculous. Like it's it's a it's a laughing stock. It, yeah. and, you know, so obviously it, whatever country you're from, it's a bit of a fucking shit storm at the moment. Yeah, pretty much. But it's just nice to, I think this is a good time for these movies because considering what an absolute like there is, there's no sense of any kind of like normality to what's happening at the no. moment. So to go back and see, like, this is this was obviously a huge deal, like huge in the eighties. Yeah, like this would get sniffed at today, and maybe have a little snippet on on uh, you Fox know News, on maybe. Fox News, maybe. and then they, you wouldn't hear about it again. Yeah, um, and it just kind of speaks a lot to to how times have changed. Yeah, but um, yeah, I'm really keen for this. I'm all over this. Yeah. yeah, I really can't wait for this. Directed by Jason Reitman. Jason Reitman and up um, in the air. Um, yep. What else uh, was it? Thank you for thank you for thank smoking. You for I like I like both of those movies. Online. Can I just I just have to play this one more time because do you realize they use the old school Columbia lady at the start? Yes, I, I love that. How yeah. good is that yeah. shit? Oh. So good. Um, but yeah, I'm 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 the same. I'm all in on this, and I hope I hope this gets a little bit of uh, award action. To be honest, towards, little, towards you. some of the reviews I've I've stumbled across. Like yeah. I haven't like just uh, you know collections. Yeah. Reading, reading the vibe mm. is that the movie itself might not feature too oh, okay. too strongly, but that Hugh Jackman gives an incredible performance and awesome. does definitely deserves to be talked about. Yeah, yeah. Um, come the end of the year, good. Bring it on. Um, it has that. It has a little bit of a uh, spotlight vibe. Um, yes, with, for with sure. A, with a bit more. Um, well, it's just you know uh, the way the way to it well, with Reitman sense, directing. You there's just a, a an air of. Um, not quirk, but just a, a little bit more, and the, the choice, of the soundtrack cinema, choice, man. you can just tell that there is going to be. It's not going to be as straightforwardly told as Spotlight. Spotlight is, yeah, um, that's true. Was just a very serious topic told, straightforward, plainly yeah. and well. Yeah. Um, why can't I spell? What are you trying to spell? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's surely if I got the I and the E around the wrong way, <laughs> IMDb should have been able to figure out. <laughs> No. What I was doing. Um, um, well, I mean, you've of course got um, you know Juno as well um, yeah, that man. he directed, which is um, a that. big fan, um, and he's worked a lot with Diablo Cody. Mm-hmm. He's had a run of a few movies. What's she? What she doing now? Well, they just they just wrote teamed up and again recently earlier this year oh, on right. Tully. Remember we talked about oh, Tully? Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. And that's apparently that's on my list. That's apparently quite a good film, film list. as well. Um, but yes, I'm I'm all in for Front Runner. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs major up. And if you're wondering about the song that we're talking about, it is Nina Simone Cinnamon that is married to that uh, trailer. Nice. Give it a watch. You'll nice. you'll be in just as much as we are. Tice, uh, feature praise. I reckon we should. Okay. And now for our feature presentation. Uh, here we go. Rounders. Um, Ra- <laughs> um, son of beach. Son of beach. <laughs> Always chit, chit, chit. chit. <laughs> yeah. 
Give him his money. Pay that man his money. He beat me. What do you think of his accent? I think it's horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's awful, but it makes me laugh so much. So much. It is um, funny, isn't it? I hope people have watched Rounders before they listen to this, because otherwise they would have no idea what we were just doing. Well, spoilers for Rounders. This spoilers did, for did Rounders. This literally come out 20 years ago. Oh, my God. 20-year anniversary. <laughs> we're doing the 20-year anniversary of, of Rounders. Rounders. I didn't even realize. There you go. Oh, um, my God. 20 by, years ago. Directed by John Dahl. I don't know who John Dahl is. John Tyson. Dahl has uh, a mixed career. Uh, okay. He's had a few. I think he had a little stint of some, uh, like, steamy thrillers. Um, is... Something oh, is like the last of seduction. Man. Is yeah. that one of his? Yes, it is. Yes, the last seduction. Um, and what else? Kill me again with Val Kilmer. Well, I think that Red Rock. Oh West. yes, oh, Red Rock West, which, which came up in a conversation. Yeah, because it was part of the Nick Cage. That's um, right. So yeah, he's. Um, Did you end up going to that? No, no, no. Unfortunately yeah, not. And yeah. there was a, one more screening of Mandy, oh. which has now sold out as well. And I couldn't fucking go anyway. Yeah. Um, but now this uh, this gentleman who is directing this movie does a lot of. Pardon me, TV series. He well, yeah, and I House think, of Cards, th- yeah, Justified. unfortunately, there was a film that I think kind of he had a film come out probably in I don't know 2010 ish. It was had a, oh, oh there yeah. it is, You Kill Me, 2007, with Ben Kingsley. I think that might be his last ah. theatrical film. But to be honest, this it, it's not, he doesn't have a oh Joyride. I forgot he directed Joyride. That Joyride is a is good a... film. Paul Walker and Steve oh, Zahn that hor- and Lily that... <laughs> Sobliski with the, the truck. Yeah, I remember that. That's a good, that is a good movie. Really? I will stand by that movie. It? It's really quite fun. I remember really watching it and going, this was a ripoff of Jeepers Creepers 1. There is a little but, bit yeah. of that. But yeah. Um, but as far as uh, directorial style goes, John Dahl isn't that. He sort of uh, sticks a camera in one spot and let's go. But... Yes. Hey, I like the movie. Look, I don't. Yeah, look, there's, I don't think there's me, anything you know I mean? much. But you can tell that he has a bit of a noir kind of yeah. background. Like he's yeah, obviously a big fan of it. Mm. Um, and his shot composition, I think, um, I think is quite strong, especially when he gets the opportunity to kind of shoot city streets. Mm. There's the, there's one shot early on, mm. and uh, this is obviously a combination of him and the the. DP, but it's when um, Kanish is talking to Matt Damon yeah. after he's lost all his money, and they're just out the side of the, oh, of the, I love that of the shot. club. Yeah, yeah. And the camera Kanish just sits back. John Turturro. By John Turturro. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and it, the camera just sits back, and you get this wonderful kind of orangey yellow um, wash off the the street lights mm. and the rain and the smoke coming up from the the vents, and I, I just like oh, fuck that is a beautiful, beautiful shot. Yeah. And I, they obviously knew it too because they just didn't even bother. <laughs> putting any focus it. on the actors at all. It's just like, yeah. you know, well, let's just put them in the corner over here because it's an important scene. We've got, you know, we're just getting a bit of kind yeah. of, uh, you know, a little bit of story out. Yeah. But God, it looks stunning. Mm. And there there are moments in this. I think, you know, the the shot in the, um, when uh, he finds a uh, worm in the church as well. Um, in the church? The, it, it, the, the church or the basketball court? It's like a it's a it's like a church hall with a basketball ring. Oh in it. Yeah, 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 where yeah, he's hiding yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's oh, yeah, it's it is, lit. Yeah. It's lit beautifully. Like yeah. it lo- it looks really great. Um, and everything's kind of I like how, you know, everything is kind of not low lit, mm. but you know the lamps of the poker rooms give it this real kind of like... There is a colour to it, like a colour palette to yeah. dif- those different... Especially with when you go to John Turturro in the Greek baths, that scene is... You can feel yeah, that you're yeah, there yeah, yeah. and you're like, wow, this um, is... Um, so, yeah, while I, 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 I definitely know what he's saying. He's, it, it's, he, I don't think he's particularly a stylized director. Like, you mm. don't, you know, you don't look at him and pick out his... his Technique, yeah, yeah, um, straight off the bat. But he has. But I think he does some really nice stuff in this. Yeah, fair deal. I think. I mean, so let's. I, obviously, I discovered this movie mm-hmm. in video store days, and same. I'm sure the same thing happened for you because, yep. and it was a big, big one of my five for five weeklies. Like it was oh, one it? of the. It was a yeah, filler. Yeah, yeah. If I was like, oh, I'll just grab I'll rounders just grab again because yeah. I haven't seen it for three weeks. A week. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, and I am a, yeah. like I really enjoy poker as well. So, yeah. so there's this there's is where I knew that, that you're well. yeah you're a fan of poker. But um, I I not so much. What was your pull to this? Was it Matt Damon or was it um what what was the pull? At the time, mine, mine was Edward Norton. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, because I was a big fan of Primal Fear, um, and the turnaround for that and his um, 
just his uh, switch of of how he played that so well. So I was a big fan of his, hence why I I kind of sought after him. So I, I watched that. I watched People vs. Larry Flint. I love that as well. And This um, might have been my first oh, yeah. Norton film, actually, because oh, yeah. I was a bit late to Primal Fear. I didn't watch Primal Fear until, like, probably uh, mid-2000s. Oh, okay. Um because I knew the twist. Some, mm. Somehow oh, I already really? knew it. And so I was a bit kind of like, oh, eh, whatever. I'll, I'll get around to it at one point. Fair deal. Um, yeah, so this might have been my first Edward Norton film, I think. So oh, it nice. couldn't have been him. I I honestly, I think it was the fact that I just kind of would rent anything at that point. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, fair it deal. Is, and I, it is a Miramax film, isn't it? It is a Miramax film, yeah. Yeah, I think... Um, now, Miramax is Weinstein, isn't well, it? It is, unfortunately, yeah. yeah. So... We we all know that it's horseshit now, we but do. I really did kind of gravitate towards Miramax films during the nineties. Like there they was, were the nineties, they really like, were. So it was yeah. either that or Brockheimer. Well, that's it, and yeah. it depends what you wanted. If you wanted a drama, you mm. would kind of go to Miramax. If you wanted a big dumb action movie, you had Brockheimer. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, I would just kind of grab it off the shelf, and you know, if it had recognizable names, and I think it, knowing that it was a poker drama as well, I think there was an element of that yeah, there. Man. Um, but I. I loved it. Like, I absolutely loved it. Yeah. Um, I think my affection for it has kind of... It's not as strong as it used to be. No. Um, I can definitely see the 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 the, um, the flaws now yeah. a, lot, a lot more clearly. The length length of it is a, it's just... A, it's a touch long. It's a long. touch long. It's a touch long. Um, um, I think the... I think the... I think the problems with the film lie almost entirely in its screenplay. I Really? Yeah. I... You don't think that you don't think that because I thought that, especially and one of the things that I wrote down is um, knowing that you're you do play po- you do play poker and you come from that side of it. There's not a lot of I love the game of poker. I don't think I'm very good at it. Sure, um, I'm, prob- I'm pretty garbage at it. Too, <laughs> but, um, but apart from that, I I love poker films because they can play so well. This, but the only thing that comes to mind is this and fucking Casino Royale, which is a Bond film for fuck's sake. Sure. Um, but it's this, hard but to this, make a it's hard to make a good narrative based around poker. poker yeah. Um, but I think that you, I think that also this plays as a sports film, and that's why. Well, essentially, you're loving, yeah. You know, do you know what I mean? Because for sure. it's poker is essentially it's sort of a sport, and and yeah, it's about an underdog kind of fucking winning back again. Yeah. So yeah, it's a, it, it does. You're right. I, I didn't even think <laughs> of it that way, and yeah. you're totally right. Yeah. I think that's probably why it it did it, it does speak to me, and I can forgive. Some the, of its the, flaws. It's flaws, flaws, because yeah. I, yeah, I do love that 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 sports. Uh, what's the word I'm trying to fucking narrative? narrative. Yeah, it's oh, early God. in the morning. Ty it is early in the morning. Ty has not coffee yet. Um, um, so whereas I have a kid and I've been up since six. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Um, but yeah, I still love it. Even even if you do trim it down, say fifteen minutes, I'm still all there. I love I love the the relationship between him and his friend because I know that. Him and Worm. Him and Worm. If you've had a friend like that, or a friend that you 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 know, maybe have grown up with the friends that I've grown up with, I don't talk to anymore. But um, but if you have that friend that you've gone through some shit with, you're going to stick with them even though they're a piece of shit, and you're like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Well, you know, yeah, I, I, I think their it's friendship like a, is it's almost like a brother, basically. Yeah, yeah, their friendship is very believable. Mm. I think that is it is one of the stronger elements of the film. I think the fact that Worm kind of. I respect the fact that Worm doesn't exactly get a redemption. Yeah. That you, we you we leave at the end of the film with kind of Worm. What happened to Worm? Just being like, you know what, Worm? You got to fucking just, you got to just go. Yeah. Like, it's actually kind of, str- it's str- the, the film's stronger for that. Really? I think yeah. that we don't get this kind of like, um, it's all going to be okay, Worm, and we're all buddies and they walk off into the sunset together. Yeah. Um, he leaves him with his debt and then fucks off. Well, he he basically like, he, that's it. He basically takes the debt and says, "I'll, you know, what? I guess I'll, it's on me now." Yeah, I'll you, fuck it. I I'll, guess I'll see you later. Yeah, I'll I'll look after it. Yeah, you just got to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, that's that's one of the strong. I think when I say the screenplay, I I, I think the structure is pretty strong. Mm. I I do. I think we could probably do without the the, the gangster parts of it. I know it drives yeah. the momentum, mm. but that those bits and he's such a comically fucking like outrageous loan shark. Like, what's with the bit with the two 
like they open the door and he's in that onesie and he's got his oh, two yeah. Asian hookers with him there That's and they're, weird. they're and it's just like what are we? It's this Scarface like as well. Yeah it, yeah, it just gets so You're like what the fuck is going on? And like you see him too many times. Like he's not a th- uh, yeah. He's more of a threat though than Malkovich really. Well, this is it. Like I think that there's enough of a threat really, just knowing that. Malkovich is in the, is in in the Russian is, mafia. Yeah, yeah. And so there's danger to, to being involved in the game, mm. um, which is fine. But then having to, yeah, having to deal with this, what's his name? Fucking the, the gangster. Um, Malkovich? No. No, not Malkovich. Malkovich's name is, yeah, he's Grammar. Teddy. Grammar. That's Grammar. It. Yeah. Mm. Um, it's just an unnecessary level that... With the problem is without it we have no plot. Yeah, but it just ends up getting to ridiculous levels. Mm-hmm. Like I, he's he's a little drug den thing that that he's lives lives in. <laughs> I guess <laughs> if you call that living, he's got you know he's got like a Godfather esque fucking table and yeah. you know like it's just it's it's, it's strange. A bit too much. It's, it's a bit, it is it's a bit, a bit over too much. the top. Considering yeah, that we're true. we're we're talking about a film where Matt Damon is meant to just be a, a kind of a troubled kid who's trying to make good mm. who happens to just be brilliant at, at reading faces at, well yeah reading, 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 faces, reading yeah. faces and playing cards yeah and then next thing you know we've got fucking people getting you know we've got <laughs> hookers and blow and you know <laughs> i'm gonna take your thumbs and your yeah. kneecaps and and there's a beating of a dog which you don't see which makes it worse oh, and i'm like yeah, what the fuck just happened to that dog i don't like I don't that like at that. all i don't like that scene it's um, weird it's weird yeah so that kind of that I think that makes the film a little bit kind of yeah. uh, hard going. And the other thing that for me I was well and truly over by the end of the film oh, yeah. is the poker metaphors. Oh, okay. In the, in the really? dialogue, you I, didn't like that. No, I'm, I, like, I thought you'd be all over that no, shit. No, they're awful. <laughs> they're awful. Really. Like the way you Spill know, the pot and and no, not the not the not language, the the, oh, okay. the, me- the metaphors. So oh. people using poker language as like a metaphor for something else. Like oh, the way okay. his girlfriend's like, you know, I'd say good luck, but I know it's not about luck in oh, your game. Yeah, fuck off. And like, and you know, it's like he's it's not a game and all. Like, it's, I'm just like, can we all just need to shut up? <laughs> just stop it. <laughs> Stop it! What other metaphors are there? It all he's it, the entirety of his voiceover. Oh, really? It, it might oh, as well yeah, have been. True. I remember. You got to know when to hold him, know when, when to, to fold him. Like, yeah, that's true. They could. I just do said like that. the narration though. Like you said I, before, I it, it plays don't. a little like noir, and I love noir. It's film. it's yeah. Look, it's and this is they are one hundred percent making a noir film. They are. They're trying. Trying to. to. It, it loses its luster yeah. in the end. Because it's even got the gone. it's even got the cool jazz sax yeah. soundtrack where it's like I'm like is this, when this, he's driving this is like a, truck, a detective like, thriller. Yeah. Like he should be, you know, walking the streets in a big trench coat, yeah, you know. I, I didn't want to get involved with the broad, but she there was something about her. She you took know. my last cigarettes and I tell you what. <laughs> and it's just kinda of like, all right, if that's what we're doing, we're okay, really we're leaning into, into it. it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't like the voiceover. I th- okay. I liked it at first. Yeah. It plays well at the start. I think they should have gotten rid of it. Do yeah. the start, and then that's it. That's And that's yeah. it. Yeah. It gets because so... Because it's a setup, and it's a nice setup. That's the thing. Like, he with him um, going in, he's getting all his cash ready for the big drop. Goes in, loses it all, goes... Uh, talks to Nick Kanish is out for a year or what or, two, yeah, or a year and a half. Yeah, nine months. Or nine I months, think months or something. Yeah. And then and then from there, when they pick when he picks up Worm, lose the narration. Okay, now we've we've had that set yeah, up and then and then that's go probably from, a good point. You know what I mean? Um, I just think that I just think the movie itself could have been so much stronger if we were left oh, to, to to just explore he, those emotions ourselves. Yeah, fair deal. Like I mean, there's one that really sticks out for me, and I had a lot more. We did watch this movie a little while ago, we did. so I'm I'm a little, just to, <laughs> we're going to give off an our, our video store memories. Of yeah, it. we really are. We were because we were going to do this obviously this film last week, and then we had all this fucking around. So. <laughs> yeah. the, uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble re- recollecting some of the moments specifically, but yep. the one that sums it up perfectly for me mm. is that I want to see Matt Damon make the decision to keep playing mm. at the end of the film when he's collected his money yep. and John Malkovich starts kind of goading him on. Um, <laughs> really yeah. suggestive. Like a little, what is it? What is the, it? No. Uh, I stick it last time I stick it in you. That's a... <laughs> and he just does that. And I'm like, oh, this is weird. <laughs> I feel so unsatisfied. <laughs> um, like I want to, st- I just want to see 
him come to the like I can we're we're cluey enough mm. and Matt Damon is a good enough actor. Mm. I don't need the voiceover to be all you know. Uh, they're they're t- they're they're what does he say? They're they're toying with me. They're trying to make me play, but. I know I shouldn't, you know, oh, I, I, yeah. I should go. I've, I've, I've got my, I've, I've made got my, my money, I've got my, my money and I should go. Yeah. And then, you know, that, that those moments would be so much more stronger. Yeah. More just stronger? Would be so much would be, stronger. Would be stronger. If we just didn't have this fucking <laughs> voiceover telling us exactly what we have to feel at that yeah, point. Yeah, and yeah. because there could be some, uh, like, ambiguity in it as mm, well. Mm. And this, I, I would actually, I kind of, I looked up something. I was like, because I, I reckon... You could instantly make this movie better removing the the narration. The, the narration. I think I think it's a it, it's okay, instantly yeah. better. Yep. And so I googled to see if anyone had done it and see if there was like a cut floating around. And yeah. there's nothing. So I would really love someone to do We're that. We're putting it out there to you, audience. Cut rounders without narration. Yeah, we'll watch it. We won't watch. We. I'll watch it again, and I I can I, I can honestly say I'll like it at least ten percent better. <laughs> I'm trying, I was trying to do the lot. figures in my it's head. It's not a lot. Look, it's early. No, for it's me, not, this is a solid video. 7 out of 10 movie for yeah, me. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I reckon get rid of the narration. It goes to an 8? Are you I'm kidding me? Easily what? pushing no. it into 8. No. Yeah. I, no, I, I, th- I really think really? so. Really? Because I think there's a no. lot of strong stuff in this. Um, there is, and I love it, but it's not. It's it's just a good, it's a good movie for me. Okay. Yeah. No, that's fair enough. Yeah, fair deal. Fair deal. Um, the... While I was just hanging shit on some of the dialogue, I think there is some great dialogue in it yeah. as well. I really think there's some great stuff. Well, I love that. Sorry, you go. Sorry. No, no, that's all right. You go. No, no, no. I wasn't going to say anything. Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, I just like, uh, I like Famke Jensen's character yeah, a lot. Yeah. Um, I love how she dresses. She is hilarious. She's got like the sleek um, black dress, heels, but she's wearing a massive puffy coat. Yeah. Because she's just collecting and she's finished her job. I'm like, that's, that's it. rad. That's what a rad. gig, man. What a gig. You just run on an underground poker. Thing. Oh, dude! Do you know I've I've seen Femke Jensen on the street? No. <laughs> yeah, I um, I. How did you not turn to stone or something like? Because I, she's like because she was out of her face, walking her dog on the streets of Amsterdam, and me and oh, Sam shit. walked past her, and Sam went, "Oh my god!" I was like, "Yep." And it was Famke Jensen. And she's fucking tall, Tyson. Yeah. She's taller than me. Yeah. Anyway, so she walked past. She's walking her little dog, which was a child. I don't know what it was. I yeah. Don't, I don't. Yeah. Um, yeah, she walks past with a dog and just glass-eyed to the nines nice. and just strolling past me. Good and on. I'm like, Famke Jensen. Living your up? life, Famke Jensen. Phoenix. Fantastic Phoenix. Yeah, I, I am a huge Famke Jensen fan. Yeah. I think she's, she's great. just, I think she's she awesome. is such, like, she's one of those kind of people that you put on a screen and you kind of, you, you, you're watching her and you, it, you almost don't believe that it, that is a human being. Like she yeah. is so just, <laughs> like just so overwhelmingly yeah. beautiful that you're just kind of like Jesus Christ. Um, Good form. Yeah, but she's great in this she's too. She's really good in this. She's yeah, really she's good in really and she's got good. some. She, I think she, her character is so interesting, mm. and I love that. Like the movie gives us the opportunity to have kind of. Uh, Everyone, lots of flawed characters that are yeah. still kind of uh, just normal. Like we, we don't oh, we yeah. don't paint these people to be bad people. No, but I mean, obviously, they're just, they're just people like grammar living. and stuff like that. Yeah, That's for different. sure. But no, she's just she's just. And I, lo- got a job I love making a living. I love the the history that they create with her and um, Matt Damon's character. Oh, what's his fucking name? Like I can't. I don't can't know. call him by John. His, is his name? No, it's not John. He's got a, he's got a <laughs> Mike McDermott. Mike, that's it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they don't. You know, it, it's not a thing. But they barely so quick, even make it a thing like, in the movie. It's oh, nice. Um, yeah, where she comes over and he's watching well, the you, thing. There are, there's little snippets of it earlier. Like, you, oh, like yeah, you can yeah. see how how kind of um, like she's quite happy to see him, mm. and you know when she's like, I, I need oh, to be back. Like, yeah, yeah. And, and like you can just and I immediately you're like, oh, there was something between the two of them, yeah. and it's just stuff like that that I think is really nice. I think John Turturro's character is really interesting as well. I think he's well. got a lot of backstory. Yeah. And he plays it as well. He's really yeah. good. And just really that whole good. idea that, you know, yes, we're glamorizing poker and we're making it like mm. this, you know, this, you know, you're doing your 72 hour benders and you're winning eight grand and mm. you, you know, you're taking down fucking Sharks pretty boys and, and yeah. you know, all this kind of stuff. But that, you know, that, that non glossy version of that as well. Mm. The fact yeah. that, you know, and they kind of give him shit for it, but he's totally right. He has, he has figured it out. You know, he's doing, yeah, sure. He's it. slogging it out because it's not about the big win. It's about living day to day. Yeah. If you want to do it and you're good at it, then 
There's, there's, I'd love, there's to make a, I'd to love to make a career out of playing poker. Uh, not me. Too much of a risk. But yeah. But that's what, that if, if you could do it without the risk, like that's what, and that's essentially what he's doing. He just exactly. he, he knows that it's not about winning the the huge pots. No, it's about no no no. I've earned enough for uh, this week or whatever. All right, so I'm pay, I paid my bills. Decent. Great. I'm going to go home. Later. I'm going to go see my family. Exactly. Uh, and I'll get up and do it all again tomorrow. Yeah. Um, yeah. I do. I think I love. I think over the years of watching this movie, I think my love of John Turturro's character has grown because he is that that uh, angel on your shoulder going, whoa, what are you doing with all that? What, what You're not planning to put that on the table, are you? You know, things like that. So, and then he's the guy who picks him up after he loses everything. Dude, I got a truck. What do you want? Do yeah. you want a room to sleep in? I can I can help you out there. Hmm. And then when he comes to him at the end and goes, I need, I need money, I need what you got. And he turns him down, he goes, dude, I can't do that. You know, yeah. I can't. You know, I've, I, I've helped you through all these things. And the one thing that you want, I can't do that. Yeah. yeah. I, but, I and really he's not wrong that. either. It's it's mm. like, he, he's, it's actually 100% correct. Mm. He's like, he's like, I'll do anything else. You, you need the truck. That's fine. Yeah. You can have the truck. Yeah. You need some, yeah. But you I'm need not, a place to stay. That's I'm cool. Not the, I'm not giving you the money. No. Um, Cause I know what you're going to do with it. Yeah. I love it. I love his character. Yeah. And then you flip it and you've got John Malkovich's character. And you're like, what, dude, what, what the is, fuck what are you is, doing? <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing? Because he had it's such somebody a good... let him do this. Because <laughs> you've got a, such a good opportunity to make a because what he is, we see him for three scenes, or is it two scenes? It's just the beginning and the end. Yeah, so two scenes. This is a scene. This is a role that can steal the, steal the film essentially, and and he he brings to the table and I know what's happened you know that, that the poor director has gone oh fuck I've got John Malkovich I'm just going to let him go and he let, and he let him go like and he, <laughs> it's not like he hasn't worked with good actors before like he's worked with a bunch of them I like intimidating actors I just find it so it is one of the strangest performances I have I think I've ever seen uh, because it is just so it's just weird out of nowhere yeah like and he didn't have to do it like no. you can be you can be you can, you can be do in the a Russian, Russian accent. Maf- yeah, but you can be in the Russian mafia and not be Russian either. Yeah. Like, well, starters. you know, it, maybe, you know, it's, it's I don't know if it's, it's not if even a, just the accent, though. accent. Like it's the it's the Oreos, it's, it's the tracksuit, it's, it's the tracksuit, it's the weird jewelry that he has yeah. on. Yeah. It's 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 his choice of dialogue as well, like mm. it's the way he and it's describes things. The... Yeah. Everything, yeah, it's just such a fuck. Like, I'm it like, is a thing. He is doing a thing. <laughs> now, yep. having said that, okay. I don't hate it. <laughs> I don't hate it, no. No, I don't hate it. It's weird. It's, it's, it's uncomfortable it's in parts. Insanely watchable. Yeah. <laughs> I would say insanely watchable. Because you're just like, watchable. you are just glued to the screen when he's on because you're just like, what is he doing? This is so bizarre, <laughs> and I'm like, so I, I just kind of go, all right, I'm, I guess I'm, yeah, fair deal. I guess I'm riding this one out with you. Um, yeah. What do you reckon of Worm? I like his character. Yeah. Yeah. I know that I shouldn't. He's he's a prick, and um, I don't think. Oh no, there is there is a bit of a character to him. I don't think Edward Norton because it, it. I've what I've read, people think that Edward Norton's just playing it straight. It's just a boring character like there's nothing there oh. but I think that well, there is I, yeah, I, yeah. I think it's a, I think, I think it's, it's a very yeah. interesting character I like his character I like that he's that type of person who um, nothing else in in life in general uh, uh, will distract him from what he likes he plays day to day and he doesn't think four or five steps ahead he thinks in the moment and he's like yeah I don't, sure. I don't give a fuck I really don't care I think it's um I think it's a it's a good balance to have exactly. somebody so um so de- like self destructive mm. who uh, in this world because really aside from him mm. he's kind of your typical degenerate gambler yeah. and you I think you need that because we're we're dealing with people and he's not necessarily a bad player either and they the movie makes mention of that mm. like he probably without even without cheating he'd mm. probably do okay yeah but. But he likes he's so to, compulsed, yeah, to to be to find the easy ways, like, mm. and so it 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 makes a nice contrast, especially to somebody like Kanish, who's the complete opposite of that. Yeah, right, and you can yeah. see how he kind of walks around and and it just is got such an unfavorable view of Worm because mm. he basically Worm is everything that all the bad reputation that people have for gambling is from is Worm, worm. yeah. 
Like that's that's mm. him in it personified. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. yeah, that's true. But and it's a good performance too because I mean Edward Norton, he's good, he's I great. Edward Norton. And he he makes him loved him in. Yeah, he's good in everything he does. Um, Except for the what was the religion one? Where was did he direct? Keeping that? the faith. Keeping the faith. Oh, I saw that movie once, and I will never watch yeah, it don't again. Watch it. No. Um, I gave up. What's the point? Um, he makes him endearing to mm. a degree because we almost feel Matt Damon's frustrations because yeah, you do like Worm. You do like him, but you yeah. just like you want to fucking grab him and by the like, shirt collar fucking... and shake him. Yeah, but you know it won't work. So, yeah. uh, and that's not. you know that's a good performance. That 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 means that yeah. he was able to actually kind of tap into that because we could easily just hate Worm and be like, why is Matt Damon hanging out with his piece of shit? Yeah. Like, but you don't feel that way. Mm. Um, That's true. Where do you sit with uh, the girlfriend who play, play, oh, played by get Gre- her Gretchen gone. Mole? Oh, <laughs> Is she just not... The worst. She is the worst thing in this film. She is, isn't she? Yeah. She's just a pain. But so, like, so unnecessarily. Yeah. Like... It, it, the but, movie doesn't need it. The movie is not better because of it. No, it's far worse because of it. <laughs> but I understand if you if you are going to have that in the movie, the 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 fact that his gambling is affecting the relationships he's having. Yeah, have that in there. But what you did didn't succeed. What you did, what you what the way you they made, chose to represent that. that yeah, yeah, it, it did, doesn't work. work. It doesn't work yeah. because you're right. And this is, I think, this is not. I don't think it has anything to do with her performance. Mm. Um. She's written off like just horribly. Yeah. She's written as a character that I don't want around. Yeah, him. exactly. Yeah. Like I'm just like fuck. Go on, go. Just, See you later. Fuck so, off. Exactly. Just yeah. fuck off then, because. Yeah. And if you, and if you, it, only this is this is maybe my perception of it. But if someone is that, I understand that losing that amount of money that he lost would be a big fucking deal. Yeah, of course. Especially if you're in a relationship. Um. Uh. But if he likes gambling. If he is a person, Tyson, who has t- has a World Series poker match on a VHS tape that he watches, then poker is part of him. You can't change someone that much. So, so that is that uh, part of that person. So you need to accept a certain amount of That's that. A good point. Do you know what I mean? So her trying to wipe it clean completely, you can't. It's it's the relationship is never going to work. And I guess that yeah. because I didn't see a little bit more of her side. I just see her as the nagging girlfriend. I, you know, I yeah, don't, I don't like her. We don't get any, yeah, we don't get any opportunity to develop any kind of empathy for her. No, exactly. So why do we care? Like, yeah. why, you know, and so this is, it's the fault of the film. Unless, yeah, the, so unless they all, just wanted her to be annoying and horrible, yeah, which, in which yeah. case they succeeded. Yeah. But, so I'd rather her not be in it, still be in it, but be in the courtroom scenes and him fuck up because of the courtroom scene. He yeah. comes to that and or the um or the meeting or whatever that they have to have. Sure. And you can tell that he's not in it. He hasn't studied. He doesn't know what he's doing. We get to the court date, passes up. He goes to the thing and she looks at him and goes, yeah. you know, just with a look and goes, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, are you here or are you not here? Well, and it's, you know, it, I, I think the movie makes it pretty clear that it's not about the money. For Matt Damon, mm. like it becomes about it because, and that's the plot. Because without it, we have no fucking movie. Yeah. But it's you can tell that he's he's what he's addicted to in poker isn't winning money. No, he doesn't sit there. It's not. It's a very different gambler's approach. Mm. He Worm is the guy that Worm is, is, the money. is driven by money. Yeah. Um, Matt Damon is Mike is is driven by the the sport of it. Yeah. Um, Almost the like skill. The, yeah. It's not the success. I would say success, but not success as in money. Success is in the World Series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sitting down with the best. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Sitting because, down. because he is and that's the best. why we have that story mm. um, about you know being out of fake out Johnny Chan. Mm. Johnny Chan. I don't know. I'm yeah. not gonna try. Um, <laughs> I think it's Johnny Chan. Um, you know, just and getting to lay down his cards when he when so he, when he had nothing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And and I love what he did. And now that I know poker. A bit better than I did when I first watched this. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, that is balls to do that. Yeah, to, to oh, for sure. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Sorry, uh, sorry, John. I love... I don't remember. Yeah. It, so that's... <laughs> that's a yeah. bit kind of a joke I love move. That. I, I love think that. I would have flipped the cards and been like... Not gloated, but just been like, yeah, see, you, sometimes sometimes they get you too. Um, <laughs> I, love I love John Chaturro when he's telling that story mm. in the in the baths. 
and he's listening at first yeah. and he's kind of not sure if he believes him or not. And yeah. then he says, like, he says something like, yeah, um, so what is, he, he, he re-raised him or something. So he checked yeah, and he, then Johnny Tennant raised, raised and he's and like, and he re-raised and you see the little twinkle in Totoro's eyes when he goes, you re-raised him? <laughs> like, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. He's uh, this mixture of like impressed and like yeah. absolute disbelief of yeah. the story that he's hearing. He's a he's I I I underestimate John Turturro a little bit. Oh, dude, he's just one of those guys that I kind of just he pops up in stuff, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. I, th- I don't think I've ever acknowledged just how good he is. He is the he is the he's I put him in the category of Steve Buscemi and uh, G, uh, fuck jo, uh, Paul Giamatti. He is oh, yeah. a, he is one of the or even J.K. Simmons. He is a character actor who's never going to win best best uh, actor for a film. He's never going to lead, but fuck me if they're in a movie, you know, you're going to watch some talent. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Unless it's the Transformers movies, Unless and he's it's the playing the strange movies. kind of like, what is he doing in those films? He's like a crazy conspiracy theory guy so that works for the CIA or some shit. Stupid shit. Yeah, like look, he's yeah, there for yeah. some bank. Okay, he's, he's and he, he he he's the one that has the line about the robot testicles. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm under the balls. Fuck, that was bad. Let's do that movie. <laughs> no. No, we're not doing that. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, so just to go back to the, the Gretchen Mole yeah, character. character. Mm. Um, because he's not driven by... Yes, he made a huge mistake and yeah. lost all the money. But because he's actually not driven by the money, mm. I find it really strange that there... Like the conversation that she has with him mm. and basically gives him a hard time because he was able to use his skills in order to win favour with these judges. Mm. Um, and, but can, can, can't even acknowledge the fact that that is actually a useful skill mm. that you can... And the way she's like, yeah, but do you want to you know, always be known as the, the one that conned your way in or whatever she says or something? And it's like, like she's just so unable to understand. So infuriating. It, it, it is infuriating. So infuriating. And so I have no sympathy for her no. because to me, she just comes across as someone with very little grasp on common sense yeah like i understand if he like obviously when he comes home from worm and he's got a roll of coin it's you know kick him in the ass maybe sure. it's, a, it's a kick in the it's ass to say okay ass. look i know it's the first night out with worm and obviously you know yeah. i know that that's worm's thing and he, yeah. you've you, we've gone and you've hit some tables you get one that's your that's strike your one that's the strike yeah 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 don't do it again exactly and then and you get on with it because you trust each other and you know that it was a different circumstance and yeah. blah, 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 blah. And have her her meat worm. Not that we have time for that. In the yeah, movie, yeah. But have her meat worm, but, all of that shit. But the way... Yeah, but the conversation about the judges, I just find it so ridiculous that she's not like, well, great. Yeah. Well, at least we... You know, at least these skills that you have... But you can tell... And he even says that. He even yeah, flat yeah. out says it. You said, you want me to use my skills in the courtroom. Yeah. And she's like, I, d- I didn't mean it like that. I mean, well, what I'm the like, fuck do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, exactly. Because that's what, that's what I'm good at. Exactly. I'm good at going yeah. in a room... And then showing, and I can show people. Mm. But you know the type, of, I, the yeah, type yeah. of woman she is when he says, he leads up to the story and goes, no, 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 hear me out, hear me out. As soon as he goes, hear me out, hear me out, I'm like, oh, she's already written off. She doesn't want to hear a I mean. fucking bar. And he's all, so he's obviously in this position where he's constantly walking on eggshells mm. because he can't be the person that he wants he to is, be. He, yeah. can't, he can't express his, his greatest skill. Yeah. And it's not, I'm not saying his greatest skill is playing poker. I'm saying his greatest skill is using... His excellent ability yeah. to read people, to to understand, um, to understand their odds, hand. yeah, you know, to to understand, odds. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. I guess that, you know that's probably mm. what it is all up in the in the end, really. Yeah, um, yeah, and it just so it's I I just think she's mm. awful, and then she leaves, kind of, uh, it's out of the un- blue, un- yeah, unceremoniously, yeah. Um, and it's fine. I'm fine with it. And when he goes back, when he's finally won at the end of the movie, when he's won his money back, he's off to Ve- he's off to Ve- Vegas. No, it's not Vegas. It's um, yeah, it's Vegas. Yeah, he's off to Vegas. And then um, and then he just drops by. He just goes, yeah, I just want to say see ya. And yeah. she goes, yeah, call me. And I'm like, fuck off, no. Yeah, no. G- call never. me if you need a lawyer. Have a good one. Yeah, see you exactly. later. I'm never seeing you again. I like. I I actually, yeah. I think he on and look. I you know I. I, I try to understand things from everyone's perspective, obviously. Sure. Yeah, and so I'm not making assessments exactly. on anything. But no. I'm surprised that this movie, because the movie paints her mm. as being so wrong, right? Yeah. 
The movie is going out of its way to make her unlikable. Yes. Surely. Sure, it has to be. Yeah. It has to be. Yeah. Yet, he doesn't get the opportunity to not put her down, but to have a moment of strength against that. Yeah. This movie, need, if they're going to paint her to be so unlikable, which is kind of... But maybe maybe they didn't intend her to be this unlikable. Maybe they thought she was being reasonable and it's just horribly written. Yeah. Now, well, that's where I came in because, because... And what I said before is if they were after that element of the movie where what he's doing is fucking up his personal life, you did it wrong because we don't like her. Yeah. And sure, we should we should have that... Because we're seeing the movie from from Matt Damon's character, we should feel that pull. Oh fuck! What I'm doing here is kind of fucking things up. Yeah. But I really care about her. Oh, but no, my you're totally friend right. is great yeah. and things like that. But we don't feel that. We pull. don't feel it. We at feel 100. percent We are let's on go his the, side all when, the way. Yeah. We're like, she, get her out of your life, man. She exactly. Is, that is, she is toxic. Exactly. Toxic and, energy. And when we and when she leaves and and the apartment is gone and he goes, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go to the tables. And Worm just does that. Yes. Yeah. And you uh, right there with him. They're like, yes, let's do it. You know. You don't get that otherwise, and and uh, you, should, and you don't you know. even yeah you don't even feel that one that moment of uh, fuck she's gone danger that's, that's that he's allowing himself back into it. Exactly. Like we should not be happy for him. We when should he goes, to some extent. When he goes to when he goes to Atlantic City, we should be like, no. oh no, he's gonna get he's, he's fallen back into you know dangerous habits. Yeah, I'm fucking stoked for him, man. Yeah, I'm like I'm part, have a good time, man, because yeah, you have to you have yeah, earned, earned it. it. <laughs> if you've had to live with that for as long as you did, yeah, fair deal. Which is awful. It is. It is very awful. But it's just badly written. But it's badly and it's not Gretchen Moll's fault. fault. No, at all. Not at all. She's a great. Yeah. She, she's well, she's great. not a great actress, but she's been a lot better in other stuff. She's done something that I really remember her by because I remember the name Gretchen Moll. I'm like, what have you done? Where I'm like, yeah, you're awesome. Where? What else? Have Gretchen Moll has unfortunately had one of those careers where she. This is and this is oh, a, Boardwalk. That's where I've seen her. She's Boardwalk, in Boardwalk Empire. Empire yeah. and I know her from. That. Um, yeah, she's had it. Yeah, but like, apart from that, there's really nothing. Well, this is what, that, and that's a big problem, is what I'm saying. She's had one of those careers that it sucks that there are so many of these careers yeah. where she constantly plays the girlfriend mm. or the wife yeah. of the main character mm. who gets brushed aside. And oh, she was the she was Betty Page in the notorious Betty Page. Yeah, that's probably her most one. Her um, yeah, most high profile gig, I reckon. Yeah, fair deal. Um, I have one last note. Oh, okay. I got which, a couple of things. Which was which was hilarious. I had to put it in just a quick. Sure. When they go to Grandma's house mm. and that hooker opens the door and she's like, Yeah, like Obviously off her face, so fucked, off yeah. her face. That actress deserves an Academy Award. She's great, isn't Fuck she? Fuck me. <laughs> Like, you boys, what is what she saying? What, are you, you boys cops? Yeah, that's it. She's great. And she's just like, just, just holding it together. Yeah. She's just, and I'm like, whoa. Do you reckon they just... And she goes, do you want to twirl? And you're like, um, we're good, but you should maybe have a seat. Yeah, do you want to sit maybe, down? Maybe a glass of water. I'll make you a... <laughs> do you need a sandwich? I can go buy you a sandwich. I had to bring it up because she's great. there's a moment and you're just like, shit, you're, you're, you're doing well. Yeah. Uh, but this is, you know... I love when you, I love performances like that. I love performances where I no longer am aware that it's an actor. Yeah, yeah. Because to me, she's just she's, she's hooker the hooker that opened the door. Exactly. Um, and she's great. And she does a killer job. She does. Um, I've got a couple of things still left to mention. Yeah, go on. Um, the how do you feel about Martin Ooh. Landau in this film generally? Yep. And is it okay? <laughs> is it okay? To kind of try and compare a, a, religious, a religious path oh, okay. to, to that of to somebody that just is badly. good at poker. Because <laughs> okay, I I had real trouble with that scene. I found it a really un, I, I found it really not cool. The fact really? that he's trying to say that I think it's well, it's not that he's using the religion because he's saying that we were a family of rabbis. Blah blah blah. Religion was so important, but he couldn't see himself. Me. Yeah. So I just find it. it that, it's because that it's seems religion. to me. Is it because it's well, religion? no? It does, I think it seems like it's in the grand scheme of things. Mm. That is such a bigger thing than then. whether or not you can go and play poker or not. Do you know what I mean? But the movie tries to make it sound like they it's, are it's equal important. footing. Yeah, that's very true. And I just, I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I think it's a story. I, for starters, I love Martin Landau. He's, I think, he's, I think he's, he's great, great in character. his performance. Yeah. How can he just be so lovable? Like, it's just, he's so sweet. Yeah. Every time, whenever you need like a... Uh, we've got to watch um fucking the majestic soon because he, oh, he yeah. breaks my heart. In that oh, movie. does he? I haven't seen um, it in so long. Yeah, 
He is. He has that. He has that. Good word. Majestic. Uh, uh. Uh, feel about it. Presence to him. He actually. You know. He yeah. really does. Um, but yeah, I love his character. Um, but as far as your question goes, it. I don't think it's comparing religion. For me, when I listen to it, it's not comparing religion to gambling. For me, it's being true to yourself. Of course. But but yeah, what he's saying, because it's religion and because all of his family are rabbis yeah. and his family out him completely and he moves uh, countries because yeah. of it and he's never seen his family again ever. That's, a, that's, that's it. That's a it's, bit fucking it's full huge. on. It's yeah. huge. It's huge. And look, I'm not saying, I'm not trying to downgrade what Matt Damon's calling in mm. life is in this film or whatever if you want to call it um like yeah. but that just seems it, it it's seems a, like apples drastic. and oranges yeah, it's a bit drastic. and i i feel like there, there could have been a middle ground mm. in that it could have been a story about you know something far with just a little bit less significance mm. something that's maybe slightly more on equal footing so that I, can't I don't think of anything, but well, yeah, I, I, like just it, it. I mean, choosing your career is is actually a, a, probably a good version of that. Yeah. But the fact that they made it so like that the, the it was it's so Instead significant. Maybe, yeah. Maybe the family business. To his life. Yeah. Maybe maybe it was a family, a family business. business. Maybe it was like oh we were all grocers. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you Accounts. know they've had a, they've had a fruit shop. Sure. 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 Bakers, bakers, bakers. I like that. I like that. I like bakers. No, they've been bakers forever, and baker. It just baking wasn't his thing. Yeah, and, and he, he really wanted no, to be. Yeah. And you know, and yes, it's like you know they were they are upset, but I'm a lawyer now, so it's okay because I followed my dream. I think because I don't. It's, sorry, yeah, yeah you go. go for it. I think because uh, Martin Landau is a judge, you need something to come to that level. Yeah, I guess so. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Because yeah, because Baker and Campbell, that uh, that's. Yes, the same level, but he's saying that because he's a judge, because the story made him one, he's going to go with religion. Because there's nothing above being a judge. Judge is pretty fucking hard. Yeah, it's true. All my parents were, were worked in government, maybe. Worked in, you know, I don't know. I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> um, why is Matt Damon wearing so many clothes in this movie? Is he? Why does he look like the Michelin Man wandering around? He's because like, you know why? Because it was 1998. What's with? <laughs> what is with these wide-legged pants that he's wearing? Like four jumpers and this giant Massive jacket pants. that is not does not fit him. No, he wanders. He looks so thick. Yeah, this entire movie. He really does, and I don't understand it. And and Edward Norton's character is his shirts are too small, so they come up to yeah, like here. Yeah. And his leather jacket, the sleeves come. And I'm like, you are clearly uncomfortable. I can see that you're uncomfortable. That is weird. Yeah, I never, I'd never realized but it before. Yeah, it's, but it's I, I, I think it's also, I, I, no, I'm not, I'm not certain, but mm. I feel like it's something that happens through Goodwill Hunting as well. Oh yeah, where oh, totally. He's just, he's a very odd shaped person. <laughs> is Matt Damon fit? Has Matt Damon ever done like a. Uh, You're talking about Jason Bourne. But do you know what I mean? Like, he's, has he ever done like a check out my abs shot in a movie? Like, oh. where, you know, or like where he's tending a wound or something and you're just like, holy shit, he's jacked. Like. I think in. Was it in Elysium there was that shot? Elysium. Possibly. Maybe, actually, yeah. But, um, yeah, I haven't seen all the Bournes. I have to see the last Bourne. I have to see the last two Bournes. No, three Bournes. <laughs> I haven't seen Ultimatum. I haven't seen Jason Bourne. And I haven't seen... Huh? What's the one without Jason Bourne? With Hawkeye? Bourne Legacy. Bourne Legacy. I haven't seen that either. Which is I have seen one and three. I've seen one and two. There you this go. One. I don't know why I skipped two. Wow. I think, yeah. I have zero interest in those movies anymore. Um, I don't like Julia Stiles, so I stay with Sure. Them. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? There's actually there's that bit in the trailer for Jason Bourne. Yeah. Where he goes to fist fight that dude. Remember that? It was like, remember the, it, in the trailer for Jason Bourne, it was really odd because it was like, it was going to be this like, oh, this street level Bourne, which I don't think it ended up being. But there's a shot in the trailer of him having like a bare knuckle fist fight with some mm. dude in a forest or something. Oh. Or like in a field. I street. Yeah. There's a and street. Is he talking about the first Jason Bourne? No, no, no. Jason, oh, Jason Bourne, Bourne, which is Bourne. the most recent one. <laughs> yeah. Keep yeah. going. So yeah. Okay. So he is fit. He's just a, he just looks like a big fucking But that's the thing. He's also, man. yeah. He also on his downtime becomes... Fat. He becomes. He lets when he it chills, go he lets goes, it just go. You know what? Fuck this. I'm gonna eat some burgers. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna eat some donuts. Yeah, I'm gonna love it. Sick. I'm gonna have all the beers. Yeah, that's it. In beers and world. chips. Fuck it. 
Um, but yes, you're looking at the 90s uh, round as Tyson 20, uh, celebrating 20, 20 year years anniversary. is uh, becoming a period piece. It is. <laughs> Who knew that, like, I, like I, you know, and I know 90s fashion, we all give it a pretty hard time and oh. stuff, but I didn't realise just how much it was about not having clothes that fit you properly. Yeah. And that's why I hated it. Like, I, I don't mean like fitted, fitted. Like, I know that no. f- really fitted is a thing now. And I'm sure when we look back in, you know, 20 years at some dudes trying to squeeze their way into fucking skinny chinos and suit jackets <laughs> that make it look like you can't do the button all the way up. Yeah, yeah. Um, still. Still. I think I'm... I just want clothes that fit people. <laughs> Matt Damon looks like he stumbled into his dad's cupboard he and does. just and just grabbed a bunch of you know when you played dress ups as a kid yeah and you just put on a random jacket and run around and went I'm dad look at me I'm Yay! dad that's what this he looks That's like this whole like, movie. Yeah. The jacket is way, way too big. Um, and lastly, lastly, lastly well, oh, I just want to talk about some of the actual poker playing. Oh yeah, how yeah. did you find that from a poker side, Tyson? Um, like it's not, it's it's not bad. Like mm. some of the variations on the games, I'm not super familiar with. Yeah. Um, but when it's just no limit hold 'em, mm. I'm pretty much, pretty easy. I'm pretty understanding yeah. of what's going on there. Um, I think in both. Sorry, I think in both circumstances, the first one where he loses all his money yeah. and the one where he wins it all back at the very end, mm. in both of those circumstances, I feel like if they were meant to be as good card players as they say they are, mm. would not have occurred. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. I agree with the, especially with the first, because now that I know Texas Hold'em a little better, watching that first game where he loses it all, I'm like, dude, that was just a dumb fucking move. That was a dumb move. I, what the fuck are you doing? You can never, like, because what does he lose it on? He loses on two pairs, mm. I think. Mm. Two pairs is like... I do not have yeah. jacks. <laughs> or does he have a full house? He has a full house. He has aces. Aces of kings. No, so yeah, okay. He? So he has a full house and Teddy has a stronger full house. Mm. This is, and look, this is, might just be me as not a, being a very great poker player, mm. but I do not go in strong with a full house. There are some, like, especially if it's a low. If it's a low. If, if you're he three. Jacks? Does he have jacks? What does he have? I can't find We don't right. remember. But he, whatever he's trio three three is, of a kind is is yeah, not that it's strong. not that high yeah if you've got that and you can see potential for another full house on the table mm. don't just don't do it don't go anywhere near it yeah and then the one at the end mm. um, which I don't remember what it was so he flops a straight okay right for those people playing the home game how so do you flop a straight as in the two ha- the two cards that he has in his hand and the three that come out first give him all the numbers in a row in a row that's yeah. right yeah um, of the same suite. Suit. No, suit, sorry. Um, <laughs> same suit. Sweet. Um, no, you don't need the same suit for a straight. Oh, okay. cool. um, so what I find really strange is if Teddy's such a great player. Mm. He would have seen it. You see the potential for the straight mm. there in your hand. Yep. Yeah. And it's the oldest trick in the book to not to check to check straight off the flop yep. when you've got a good hand. Yeah. Like if you're still hoping for something good, mm. well, this and the, look, someone who actually plays poker might think I'm just talking shit right now. <laughs> but if you actually have something good, but you're building towards it, like maybe mm. you've got a potential for a straight, or it's like, okay, so I've, I've got you know I've got a pair here, and mm. I could have another one there. So I'm, you put a little bit of money in to keep the game going. Yeah, I'm always very wary of someone straight after the <laughs> flop checking like that, especially in heads up. Yeah, I'd be really conscious of it. Yeah, and I'd kind of just try and I'd keep peppering them and just seeing. Mm. See what but, goes on. Yeah, I yeah. I think. I think it's silly that he didn't at least suspect it. But, you know, I don't know. How else do you get a narrative out of poker? I just... I, I, and it I, depends how you play as well. Exactly. Like, there are, all, there are always different players. Yeah. yeah. I, I, do you know which one I actually think is better? Mm. You know, the first one he wins that where... And he, the narration comes over and he says, uh, poker's about chopping down a tree or whatever, and I just cut one of his legs off or yeah. whatever. Uh, now I just have to lean on him. I just have to lean on him. Yeah, That's, that was a good move. That was actually a really good little back and forth of card playing. That, and was, that one yeah. I, I quite liked. I like that one as well. Um, yeah. It was just... It, it was kind of like they needed the narrative of the... They had to do the same one that Johnny mm. Chan did in the, in the video. In the video. It was kind of yeah. like... Because without it, it's like... Has to call back to yeah, it. We yeah, have to, sure. we have to call back to sure, it. But but it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's I don't know. Point. It's not Come as on, strong. There are, there are other plays in poker. Um, oh, what I do like is the um, I like the montages of them just hitting the beat and and doing all yeah, those things. Yeah, yeah, they, they were really nice. And what and yes, they're glamorizing it. But if I was as good as them, would I do that? You know what? I'm going to do that for a weekend. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised that um, they don't like. It takes them so long to make that amount of money. 
Yeah. Like I, I, I actually, me too. I thought it'd be there'd be bigger high stakes. Yeah, games. I thought they were playing with bigger amounts of money mm. uh, in this m- movie. I forgot how actually kind of small fry it is. It's like ten grand. Or even just go to if you're doing that, fine. Let's we'll go to the we'll go to a casino. Yeah, and play a high stakes game. Go and play with the high rollers. Yeah. Like if you're like you've good. only got. I think they only start out with uh, two hundred fifty dollars, but you can kick up to that and then go high stakes and you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, weird. Um, but they have to show them slogan now. That's it. It yeah. is the slog. Mm. Um, rounders. Rounders. You got anything else that you want to add no, about I'm rounders? I'm good. I'm good. I will watch this again. I will happily watch it again. Happily it's watch an every again. couple yeah. of year watch for it's me. It's great. It's really good. I like um, it. It mm. just it's it's so easily watchable. Mm. It is, yeah, you're right. It's a little long, but I think there's enough good stuff in it. Exactly. And I'm gonna try and I re- I really want to try and find a version that eliminates. The ah. <laughs> I want to find another poker movie. That's what I want. Because um, what was the what was there the, was the movie Shade? Yes, with um uh, with Sylvester, uh, Sylvester Stallone, Sylvester Stallone which, which I watched, which I remember. It's not. Great. It's not great. I remember I worked at the video store when that came out, and for a freebie you got Shade playing cards. Oh, so nice. somewhere I've got nice playing cards with Sylvester Stallone. That's shade. that's cool. Yeah, I should watch that again. Actually, yeah, me too. Um, what was the one where the students uh, guided by? That's ca- twenty one. Thank you. So that's blackjack, and yeah. not at all, not at all the same. In, uh, well, yeah. Yeah. well, I know that that was another uh, whitewashing because all of those that really did happen, and all of those students were Asian. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Of course. Yeah. No, of course. We couldn't have that, though. No, of course no not. One, no one's going to watch a movie with Asian people. Well, let's see where... Uh, yeah, that's it. Crazy, Crazy Rich Crazy Asians, Asians takes becoming us. one of the, you know, the biggest making movies exactly. of... Exactly. Um, well, and there's good. Molly Molly's Game, which... Um, which I've yet to see. I've yet to see, but too. But I think it's more on the running of the, the um, poker places yeah, rather, exactly. than the, rather than the game itself. Um, I'm. Can we just jump back a bit? I can't actually wait to see Crazy Rich Asians. I'm looking forward to it. it I've heard really great yeah, things about it. Like I've fun. heard it's quite funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. Look, there's a lot, there's a bunch of random movies that I will never see. Yeah. Um, <laughs> things that are straight to DVD horseshit. Um, I never watched Lucky You, the Curtis Hansen movie with Eric Banner. Do you know the one? Lucky You. Yeah. No, I don't know that one. Um, Curtis Hansen. Yeah. R.I.P. Curtis Hansen. Okay. Um. And other than that, like I, you know, I actually recently saw Mississippi Grind, yeah, which, um, which I fucking loved. You did. Yeah, I, I, wasn't I was a, a fan huge of fan of that film, mm. um, which oh, is not necessarily ball. poker, but it's just gambling. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there's not really many. Yeah, I think I think are. it's hard to structure a strong narrative around poker, poker. and yeah, I think this do. might be the best version of that. Mm-hmm. I don't know if we will, we could get a better version. Get rid of that voiceover, and <laughs> we've got possibly the best thing we can hope for in a poker poker movie. Until then, I'll be happy with watching this Casino Royale, and uh, maybe a Daisy if you do, Tice. A Daisy if you do. There's not a lot of poker playing, but he's badass at it. <laughs> there's a little bit in it, isn't there? There's yeah. a little, yeah. Just a little bit. I got two guns <laughs> for each of you. Um. Um, well, so we move on then. Let's move on. It's time to talk what did we watch, watch this week. week. Do, 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 do. Um, Tice, I've watched a bit. Yeah, me too, man. Oh, really? Yeah. Snap. Shit. Oh, we should have done this earlier. Fuck, damn it. We should have got to it earlier. All right, I'm gonna do, I'll do one because okay. there's one that I want to talk about and I'll leave a one for another time. Okay, sure. Um, I watched A Quiet Place. Oh, all right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. How did um, that go for you, man? Uh, I think it um, it was good. Don't get me wrong. It was a it was a solid movie. I loved every minute of it. But uh, knowing me, I um, I bumped it up too big. Uh, okay. I went in with massive expectations, sure. and look, those expectations were met. But it at the end of the day, it wasn't anything that I hadn't seen before. Sure. Um, but yeah, uh, John Krasinski uh, and his lovely wife Emily Blunt. Um, it was more. It it was more of a thriller. Yeah, which which is really good. Um, it did have that village vibe to it, kind sure. of. Um, and you were uh, married with Cloverfield. You didn't. You knew there was a monster, yep. but you only saw it in, at the very end. Um, which in Cloverfield I didn't like. I wish you didn't see the monster in Cloverfield. But in this, you needed to see it. You sure. needed to have that reaction to okay. it. Um, look, it was good. It was really good. It, it, the the world that they made and the rules and this family and. It was great. I didn't. F- I felt connected to them, but not all the way. So when okay. things started happening, I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah that's a shame." 
you know, things like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. But I did. I, I loved it. And and reading a little bit about it, the, the writers wrote it to be in the Cloverfield world. Oh, interesting. Which is great. And then they took it to the studio that has Cloverfield. And the studio, which is such a smart move, went, no, 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 this is on its own. This yeah. has to have a world of its own because okay, we can we can make more movies off this. Yeah. Which is such a great idea because this this can be, this has the potential to be a, a franchise. Sure. Well, well, they've just announced the sequel, so we're so yeah, ro- off and rolling. It looks really good. There are some moments in this that are that are really great, but um, but yeah, it was a it was a good movie. And did I you watch it. this in the comfort of your own home? I did watch this in the comfort now, of my own home. How knowing how important sound is in the film? Yes. Did you feel like it was good? That's the way to watch it. Like, did you watch it kind of late at night, quiet, knowing full well that you'd have be Jump able to scares? get well just you... the just the way that they oh, use the because that they, they, they use the, it, yeah. they, the way they use sound through the film. That's true, and or the lack of, I should say. Yeah, yeah, and I I bumped it up so that so that the sound was almost amplified, so that sure. those those. Moments where the director chooses to cut sound out completely and you're just maybe hearing one thing mm. or you're hearing something in the distance or something like yeah. that are uh, really poignant. Okay. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Definitely watch it with a great sound system. Um, but Oh, just watch it loud. To be yeah, right. But, um, yeah, it was really good. Maybe headphones. Maybe headphones. Emily Blunt, man. I love Emily Blunt. She's great. She's fucking awesome. Awesome. Yeah. She's um, a, she's a really strong character. Really I really awesome. yeah, I really look forward yeah. to seeing it. I'm going to try and catch yeah. that soon, yeah. I think. That's good. Very very soon. Yeah. Um all right, I'll just talk about I'll just talk about one too because yeah. we'll we'll yeah, wrap this up pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, um I finally got to fill one of my gaps in my John Carpenter oh, filmography. Which, which one? Um so I watched 1983's Christine. Oh, decent. Yeah, because I found um I found a like a Region One special edition DVD at Decent. like a, a at like at an a op bargain, shop bargain yeah. kind of DVD place. Awesome, um, snatch that shit. And I was like, oh, this looks cool. It's Region One. It's got commentary with Carpenter. And I was like, oh, nice. All right, cool. And I was a little worried that it wouldn't play on my player, but I just thought I'd, I'll chuck it in and see what happens. And it mint, dude. Um, it's a it's an old DVD, so the transfer is pretty rubbish. But um, I was just excited to watch it, to be honest. Um, and I liked it. I liked it a lot. Decent. Yeah, I don't. I didn't love it. Oh, no, I know it's just good. Drawing back the line, but it, it is good. It's I, good. It's yeah. um, I think I, I, I mean, I knew it would be better than just a haunted car movie because it's Carpenter, but it doesn't feel very Carpenterish. I find it's is it early Carpenter? Well, it's the year I'm after assuming. the thing. Oh yeah, fair deal. So he's definitely established a style, mm. I think. Yeah, yeah. And there are elements of it there, like the soundtrack is pretty what you'd expect from a Carpenter film. Um, I like that he uses the um. He uses like a green glow to represent when Christine is is, is alive, uh, alive yep. which um, then makes it. me think of the way it's the same color green he used in Prince of Darkness. Yeah, to, well, I haven't seen that. Uh, to, it's the color of the goo, the the goo that makes you turn evil. Oh, okay, that is apparently evil in physical form. It's oh. the same green. He obviously really connects to that green kind of tinge. Um, there's good performances. I think some of the acting lets it down a little bit. I don't yeah. think John Stockwell, is that his name? Yeah, John Stockwell does fantastic work. I really like Keith Gordon as Arnie, who's gone on to have kind of... He's kind of on, gone to have a bit of a reasonable direct, uh, directing career now. Yeah. Um, I think his performance is probably the most interesting in the film. Um, and I love... I loved the, the... ending of this movie? Yeah. Can it's I say a, the ending? Yeah. 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 I, I forget what for I, no, I forget what happened, but oh. uh, I love the. I remember the ending was was strong. The last the last showdown mm. at, at the garage. At the garage, yeah, um, is really is really great. Um, but the 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 practical effects of the car, the way they um, and I was reading about how they did it, how they mm. used like hydraulics and plastics to make the, to make the car reform. Oh yeah. So the way they would they would um, it's really interesting. Like they would use like pressure hydraulics to suck in like the panel yeah and film that yeah and then, and then re- reverse, reverse the it. reverse the footage yeah yeah and so it just it looks amazing it's the amazing. way it goes from like from crunched up to garbage to just and it just expands yeah. into like this pristine looking fucking the car is beautiful oh, uh, Plymouth Fury yeah no. um yeah and I, I was thinking about it and I was like god you know it's so depressing because 
the the creativity that it takes to think of stuff like that and go, mm. okay, so we need to have a car that is totaled mm. reform itself. Yeah. 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 How are we going to do this? And mm. so people thought spent hours thinking about it. Yep. And now it would just be a car. And we'd uh, sorry, now it'd just be CGI. And the magic is gone. The magic's gone because we'd watch it and just go, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. Cool, great. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's fixed itself. Back then, you would have seen that and gone, how the but fuck? But it's, it's so much more um, meaningful when yeah. you're watching it and you like, and it's not even that um, I, I'm spending, I'm sitting there thinking, how the fuck did they do it? Mm. It's that I tangibly can see that it is a real thing that yeah. is happening. Yeah. And it makes it so much more effective. So much more effective. Yeah, man. Um, but yeah, it's definitely like it's worth it. If if you stayed away it is, because it, it was like the, the the haunted car movie from Stephen King, because yeah. it is like Stephen King can have a reputation for basically being weird, b- weird. having a, a hat with various objects in it and going, <laughs> okay, this is going to be about a haunted <laughs> into the hat. Uh, book stand. Langoliers. Yeah, exa- <laughs> yeah exactly. Uh, yes, what are they? Big monsters that eat time. Okay, let's okay. write a book. Oh, let's Jesus see how we Christ. go. That's crazy. Um, and so, yeah, it, and this is around the time when you had like your Cujo, mm. you had this, you had, yeah, yeah. you know, um, the run of evil objects <laughs> written <laughs> in stories about Stephen King. Yeah, yeah. But there's actually a whole heap going on. And I'm currently reading the book. I'm about halfway through the book, which is why I, I wanted to watch it. Christine? Yeah. Yeah, decent. Um, and it, it is really co- complex. And right. It, it, it's very much about friendship and... Um, Obsession and uh, how you can be corrupted, basically. Mm. Um, Jason. And I, yeah, so I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it quite a lot. I recommend it if you can track it down. I have to, I, really, I, I had to buy a DVD to see it because I've been meaning to watch it yeah, forever, but you can't I, stream I bought it anyway. mine. I bought mine because it was ages, ages, ages ago. I should check out. There's a Blu-ray floating around. Is I, it? I should check out if it's got... Because if it's got the same special features, I'll be really disappointed because now I just want <laughs> this garbage quality DVD that transfers rubbish. Fair deal. Um, yeah. That's yeah. probably um, it? all. Well, what we should do, actually, is because we've got... Uh, yeah. We can open the mailbag today. We've oh. received some mail that I wanted to uh, maybe have a little bit of a chat about. Really? The mailbag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mailbag. Um, this is um, this is from friend of the podcast Amelia, and we really appreciate Amelia is a big supporter of the show, and she's always always says really lovely stuff. But I wanted to read this one out specifically because I think it's going to give us a bit of a conversation as well. Yeah. Um, shout out to Nick Tice and Video Tape. Oh, fuck, I'm going to say that again. That's the name of our show. One one more time. Shout out to Nick Tice and Video Tape again for your inclusivity. I love Nick's shout out to females saying you would love to hear a female perspective on Under Siege. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm sure you heard, but Rotten Tomatoes recently announced they're trying to add more diversity to their reviews too. Anyway, super cool stuff as always. Hope you're well. Thanks, Amelia. We really appreciate it. Um, And it does raise an interesting point. We did um, had to check out that article and we heard that what was happening over Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. um, it's a interesting kind of way to to attack this problem. Yeah. Um I think one of the things that I found really kind of um uh alarming in mm. that is that 80% of the reviews this is the stat that yeah, I could, yeah. well, I was shocked by is yeah, that 80% yeah. of the reviews of the top 100 films of last year were written by white men. Yeah, what the fuck? And <laughs> come on. That is that is a that's a huge number. Yeah. Uh one in five of uh, reviews written by females. Mm. Um one in five. Jesus. Yeah, which that number should obviously be different. Yeah. Uh, you know, movies are made for all kinds of different people, and yeah. we want to hear the perspectives of the people that yeah. it's that um, the movie relates to, mm. and, or, or not. Like it's exactly what you're saying about Under Siege. Mm. That movie's not made for women, no. But I'd love to hear a women's, what you think a women's about perspective that. Exactly. on that, because I know as well as there are massive uh, Steven Seagal fans that are women, sure, and and what they think of that, and or what it. they think of you know what's going on in that movie, yeah. You know. There's no reason why everyone can't enjoy everything, like every kind of movie. Yeah. And, but I know for a fact that there are movies that are not for me. Like those, oh, yeah. those, um, you know, Mother's Day, Valentine's Days, those <laughs> fucking things, they are not for me, right? <laughs> New Year's Eve, Valentine's, yeah, yeah, yeah all those. The, ones. And, yeah, and that's past. fine. Um, while I, you know, while I respect, while I'm still allowed to have an opinion on that, mm. my opinion is still valid, of course. Sure. But. For somebody w- deciding whether or not they want to see that movie or not, mm. they should have the option to go to somebody who it relates to more. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. There was there was a little thing in there that I'm not super. I'm um, uh, the Brie Larson. The comment, Brie Larson. Yeah, yeah. Where uh, she says something like, uh, "You know, uh, why I don't care what a forty year old white man says has to say about a wrinkle in time. The movie's not for you." Um, 
Well, yeah. I, I, mm. I disagree with that comment somewhat. Yeah. In the sense that we should care what everybody has to say Absolutely. about it. Absolutely. Um, that, and that's why because, I've, I've shouted yeah. out to um, a female perspective on on Under Siege. Yeah. I want to know what you think about it. Yeah. You know. And look, I, I get the point that she's making. Mm. You know, A Wrinkle of Time, it, it's not for the 40-year-old white man. No. But a 40-year-old white man can still give his opinion on whether or not it's garbage filmmaking or not. Exactly. That If that influences who that influences to see it or not mm. is then up to the reader. Mm. If the reader wants to hear from somebody who its perspective is more relevant, mm. we need to have the options for that. I yeah, think that's what's absolutely. the most important thing. Yeah. And so, yeah, it sucks that 80% of it is white men writing mm. you know, about yeah. movies that aren't for them. Yeah. They can still write those reviews and they are just as relevant, but we need to have the options. Mm. We need to be able to go to the other places and yeah. say, okay, so A Wrinkle of Time, it's for the African-American community. Uh, it's for women. Sure. Um, young girls, especially because it's, you know, a young black girl is the protagonist. That's very rare. Yeah. You know, where can we go to read for a similar perspective? Uh, a similar perspective, yeah. About that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I like that the article, not only um, all minorities are going to, uh, they're looking at, at more critics, uh, or reviews being from different minorities, so that so that they can have a wider perspective. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what I loved about it. Yeah, as yeah, well. yeah. So, yeah. And I, I, do, I want that wider perspective yeah. because I don't know about certain things. <laughs> like I, you know, even um, a movie. I'm trying to think of a movie that is more relevant. Let's say I watched something like Girls Trip. Okay. Is that the the uh, one with Tiffany Haddish and was that what it was called? I have no idea. Like, Let me look at it. Queen Latifah maybe was in Girl's it. Girl's Trip. Is that what it was called? Like, so... Yeah, what about it? I don't know much about, like... Girl's Trip, yep, 2017. Yeah. Regina so that's, Hall. No, that's, but that's, yeah. that's not the right example. Okay. Um, I need to find a better example. Okay. Um, well, I would want to... Okay, then, I would... Uh, a friend of mine who uh, used to work at JB... Um, uh, uh, comes from an Asian family and went and reviewed uh, Crazy Rich Asians. Great. And he was saying how there's jokes in there for uh, the Asian community, which we won't get. I'd love that. I won't know Absolutely. that unless I, I read it from yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that's, I, mean? and so, I want to be able to go. That's exa- I was actually about yeah. to say something similar. I was thinking yeah. of just like Memoirs of a Geisha, for instance. I was exactly. like, yeah. I don't understand very much about that culture. Exactly. So when I see this movie, I don't, I don't know what they're what, – how accurate it is, how it's representing. I don't know the little the little nuances of it. Exactly, it could be. Is it a bad re- representation? Yeah. It, do you not want to be associated? Are with Are there or little something? things that happen that are actually really important to the story, but are missed because culturally I'm unaware of them? Yeah. You know what I mean. Exactly. And so that's when you can go. You need to have the option to be able to go somewhere else and go. Hey, this is this is your stuff. Mm. You are you this are the is, expert on this. Yeah. Your opinion. Matters matters in yeah, this right now, and absolutely. I want it. Yeah, I want because I, I want. To to I, I need to be able to know exactly. that kind of stuff. But also, yeah, and also from, but all all matters of film as well. Yeah, you know, hundred yeah. percent. I do like that they're opening their doors up to independent reviewers as well. Mm, good, like you know, so they should. Local, you know, independent websites, podcasts. Think, I think for too long it's been the same a hundred or so people <laughs> in print media, who's. <laughs> You know, we need different perspectives. Mm. And, you know, I can't remember the last time I read a newspaper review. Oh, right. Like, I wow. honestly couldn't tell you. No. Um, I get all my reviews from various online sources. Yeah. And usually not the bigger the bigger um, websites the bigger anyway. Website, yeah. No. They're I don't usually read movie ones. reviews. It's been, a, it's been a long time thing for me that I don't, I don't read them. I used to. I used to uh, read them quite a lot. But it got me to a point where I was uh, kind of... Knowing too much about the movie before going in, having having not hindsight, but um, having a perspective on the movie before going into it sure. gave me. You don't want to color your viewing exactly, experience. yeah. So I just stopped altogether. Sure, fair enough. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. Well, and thank you for your Thanks letter, for the question, Amelia. That uh, of course, if of anyone the, else yeah, would yeah. like to send us anything, you no can just email yeah. us. Please um, do at our Nick Tyson videotape at gmail dot com. Yes, I spell Nick. N I C and Tyson's two A S. Yes, or you can just track it down on any of our socials. Yeah. Hey, should we um cross the streams? I was trying to do it well and I failed. <coughs> oh no! Oh no! Damn it! No, done some, some vocal damage. Damn it! That got was the, terrible. Got the noddies. 
Um, have you got anything? Yeah, oh, I, I, um, Netflix. You go first. Netflix have recently added. They might have added this once before, yep. but um, it's just popped up again. Uh, the fourth film in the Rambo, the fourth of the th- series, <laughs> simply called Rambo, Rambo. <laughs> um, has been added to Netflix. Uh, and I am a Rambo. I am a supporter of this film. Really? I think. You, are you the only one? It might be I one of the no only one, ones. No one else liked. It. Uh, no, it's it's really it's an interesting movie. I think it's got. Um, yeah, I think it does similar things to what Rocky Balboa does for the Rocky series. Oh, okay. Is that it brings, it it removes the crazy superhero ness of it uh, that it became. Oh, okay, like Rambo three is, <laughs> like it's a comic book movie. Like, yeah. um, even First Blood Part two to a degree. Like, it it's 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 not grounded in any sense of realism at all. Yeah. Um, whereas Rambo has turned that around and kind of tried to ground it in a little bit of realism. Um, there's some really great moments. I think it's uh, Stallone. Stallone, I, I enjoyed this little patch of Stallone's career where he allowed himself to be like grizzled and yeah. and kind of regretful. Okay. Like you see it, uh, you, he, he plays that really well. The, the, the man who, you know, the old man who has had the rough life and kind of doesn't know where he's going to find his happiness. Yeah, fair um, And... Above all that, mm. it's fucking bonkers, though. <laughs> like, it is violent. Um, there really? is so... It is so fucking crazy. That, like, and some of it is just run-of-the-mill run action movie violence where it's like he you know, he shoots a couple of dudes, he rips some throats, it's all... You know, guts some, That's what I like. Gets a knife in some dude and his guts fall out and all this oh. kind of stuff. Like, it's pretty intense. But right. there is one sequence that is absolutely ludicrous, and it's uh, when he gets on the back of a, one of those van, uh, trucks... One of those military trucks that has yeah. like a mini gun. Oh shit! Like, like uh, what are they called? Bolted to the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And Mounted he just starts mowing down <laughs> these dudes, and it goes on almost comically long. Oh really? How far? How long he just and these guys oh, are getting funny. torn up, like <laughs> ripped apart, like, yeah. and it is, it's. It's kind of outrageous <laughs> and needs to be seen to be believed. And I'm pretty sure that... I'm not sure which version Netflix is showing, but there was oh, an unrated version an unrated that was available. On, I think you can get it on Blu-ray and DVD. Yeah. Um, and it's that's the one I've seen, and it is outrageously violent. Really? Um, so whether or not they've used the version that's a bit toned down, okay. so there's a bit less blood, there's a bit less guts, and there's a bit less kind of... It's basically like... Because it's like such a powerful gun... <laughs> It's like he's just throwing swords at these people. So every time oh, really? he shoots somebody, they basically split in two. <laughs> or like a leg will come so off. So like old or... school, like, um, uh, Commando. That's how you felt when you are watching Commando. Because well, it was just a wah, wah, But back in, back in those... Up. Yeah, people blew up. But usually in those days, it was like a couple of squibs and they'd fall on the ground. Yeah, yeah. The, Unless these, it's Robocop yeah. when it's like too many squibs. It, wait, <laughs> never too many squibs. <laughs> Um, but in this, he, he is he is cutting them literally to pieces. Oh, really? Um, and and it's quite and it's where that meme came from as well. There's a meme that floats around the internet where someone's digitally removed the gun from him from his hand. Oh, yeah. And, and there's a shot. It looks like he's giving you thumbs he's, up, yeah. but he's because it's like and the meme is you know like when people ask me at work how I'm doing today, and it's like <laughs> oh, with the thumbs up. Oh, um, that's funny. So yeah, that's really funny. The the origin of memes. The origin. I of always memes. do enjoy. Finding that out. Like that. Uh, so yeah, that's this on Netflix. Rambo. It's Rambo. worth it. Called John Rambo. I think overseas we just got oh, Rambo. Really? Yeah, I like our version better. Rambo four in some places as well. What? I think. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I love how is it Die Hard four is live free Die Hard. Yeah, overseas? it's live free Die Hard. And it's, there's Die Hard four, and then we've got the dumb Die Hard four point <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah. Or it's like, come on. Stupid fucking idiots. Uh, there, nice one. There you go. What do you got? I like it. Um, I'm going to, because I feel, I feel like I need a bit of a, a horror, a horror feeling oh, after, exactly. after watching, um, uh, oh, Jesus. Quiet Place. Quiet Place. Um, going to wet, wet I know, you've, whistle you've wet the for whistle some for, for some October. horror. So I, I'm, I'm going to go back all the way back to two Melburnians and on Netflix is a movie called Saw. Hey, the first Saw. The first Saw. Before it became a, an insane franchise and... 
I, in a movie like this, I, I love the story. It was a new concept, which was great. Came out during the time of torture porn era, but I think it was something mm. a different than that for yep, me. Yeah, 100%. Um, uh, I think the writing, directing was awesome. I like Lee Wignall's acting in this. A lot of people don't rip him apart. Oh. I like him. I like him. He, he, does, he right. does a decent job. He, yeah. Um, but what I liked most about this is when I watch a movie like this that I knew nothing about, I'm in hook, line, and sinker. Sure, I'm living what they're living. Yep. I don't look. I don't look at the twist or the plot or the whatever. Uh, spoilers for for Saw. I didn't. Him standing up in the middle of that, I lost my fucking mind. I was like, "Oh my fucking god!" You know, and the slamming of that door and the twist came over, and I was like, "Fuck!" Oh, it, it was so good. The twist is ridiculous. It was so but good. very, very effective in the moment. <laughs> exactly. Like, I, I, you know, it's one of those ones that perhaps with further recollect, like reflection. It, it's a bit dumb, mm. but you cannot underestimate the effect that that twist had oh, on so the first good. viewing because it, it is. So, and I, it, I think that's almost good enough. Like, yeah. if sure, they probably didn't ever dis, uh, figure that this would become this massive no, franchise. No. And you know, so maybe now looking back, you kind of think about him lying on the floor while it's all going on, mm. and it seems a bit ridiculous. Yeah. But as a standalone film. That moment Brilliance. just is super effective brilliance. and leaves you with a real sense of like just shock and awe. And who cares if it doesn't really hold up to that much scrutiny? No, it's about the 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 effect of it and so, the effect works. Yeah, um, love we that movie. should. Love I, it I just want to put this out there. Ooh. So it is September. Oh. It's early September. Oh. Do you think we could watch all the Saw movies by oh, the end of October? Jeez, by the end of October? Oh yeah, I could do that. That's that's easily done. Should we? Are we? Doing? Are we going to do? Should we do a bit of a sore a retrospective? Sore retrospective on October thirty first. Well, maybe our last episode of October can be can be the sore franchise. The sore franchise. I like it. Yeah, let's put it down, Tice. I think that might be a good idea. That's a good idea. Maybe we'll do that. Right, we'll you heard that. it here first, people. If that doesn't end up happening, we apologize. We apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I'll give it a shot. I reckon we can get away with yeah, that. Yeah, bring it on. I know around three and four, because I tried to do this. Yeah, I've tried. Around three and four, I'm like, what the fuck is I going on? I checked out. What is going on? I don't... Who is he? Yeah, I checked I out he died. hard at yeah, the end of three. You, I, you checked out time, hard? Yeah, by the wow. time I got to the end of the three, I was like, I'm not watching fuck any more of this. So I'm, I'm going to go back and I'm going to do it again. I can do it. Decent. We're going to get all the way through, because I've heard... The newest four, one? Four... Oh, which one have I heard is, is good? Oh, really? It got good? F- six? Six. Six? How many fucking Saw films are there? There's eight. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> so there's seven, which was the final chapter, and yeah. then eight is Jigsaw, Jigsaw, the one that came out this year from which the Spirit Brothers, to, yeah. which I've heard is no good either. Yeah, that's fine. So, Look, most of them are no good apart from the first. Well, this is what I mean. What are we doing, Bring actually? This is about no, 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 no. You've said it now. It's <laughs> on record. Uh, no. We're going off. You heard it You heard it here first. Oh, We're doing did. the Saw saga. Saw um, saga? Sure. Yeah. Uh, next week, Nicholas, Ooh. we're uh, returning to one of our long-running... Are we still doing this? I've forgotten. Yeah. Yes, we're returning to one of our long-running uh, segments, uh, the segment that we like to call We Are Groot. We Are Groot. Uh, it's, our we are Groot. it's our superhero segment. It is our superhero show. Um, we pick... It's basically just we, no rhyme or reason. If, if, if the movie happens to be a superhero movie... We'll watch it. We'll watch it, and it's we part of our We Are Groot. Yeah. Uh, what have we end up deciding on? I've forgotten already. Uh... First class. Oh, so we're going to go into the X-Men franchise. Yeah. Because that counts. They're superheroes. Because <laughs> that counts. Yeah. Yeah, totally. It's a, bit of, it's a bit of a gray area for some reason in my head. Really? I don't know why. I'm, I'm, I'm... What, first class or X-Men? No, no. Like, including X-Men in the We Are Groot series. Oh. But... No, because it's... it's They are superheroes. Please. Um, yeah, and we're going to actually go to first class. Yeah, the nice. uh, The I first like of the new trilogy, I yes. guess you could call it. Yes. Um, that is... <laughs> the new trilogy. Yeah. yeah. Which... Um, yeah, is I'm excited to rewatch this movie. It's been a little while for me. Oh, has it? Yeah. I kind of watch it maybe every six months. I oh, feel. okay. Well, that was but well, I was doing that before Clark was born, and now I haven't sure. seen anything in years. Um, of course, <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I know I definitely have the Blu-ray. So yeah, I have the Blu-ray as well. Um, but yeah, bring it on, bring it on, first class, uh, first week. class. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, that's it for our for our show. If you would like to. Uh, um, like us, review us. If you like what you heard, if you did like what you heard, write us in. Yeah, fuck, I'd like to it. hear it. Why Bring not? It on. Troll the shit out of Tyson. He loves it. Um, I, I do. Uh, we are on uh, iTunes. We are on Stitcher. We are on Intune Radio. We're on Casts. What's the one that you look look at? Over- Overcast. Wow. Overcast. I was about to say Overwatched. Um, Overcast. That's Overcast the one. That's is the one. the one I use. And we're on the social. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. 
And if you would like to write us a lovely letter, we are at nicktysonvideotape at gmail.com. Yes. And if you're feeling lazy, you can just use Messenger on our Facebook page. We're fine with that. Um, you, there is the option to send us a message through that. We will receive it. Or just write on our wall. Doesn't yeah. Matter. Hey, dude. Do, do whatever, whatever you like. like. That's it. All right. Jeez. Thanks, Nick. That was good. Thanks, That was guys. fun. All right. I'll see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.